up guys just gonna play master duel again um yeah we're just gonna boot it right up and we'll go from there so all right all right wish me luck let's see i think i'll change the uh the capture here in a minute so uh, I played it smart this time as far as streaming. You know, normally I have like uh, my Twitch in the background as well as other YouTube stuff I'm uploading, but uh, eh. all the YouTubes and U dubs are caught up. So we will U subs. <laughs> I don't know. I was trying to rhyme like the Paradox Brothers, and uh, yeah, I have a feeling this is going to load a lot faster though. Let's see. I'm also going to try, like, opening my door to my room. Because, you know, normally I, I close it because I'm pretty... You know, I'm pretty passionate. I'm a passionate duelist, you know. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, normally I do close it just to, you know, out of respect for everyone else. But uh, here's what I'm going to do instead. You know, I'm going to open it. But uh, this is going to be more of a, you know, calm, comforting, you know, uh, kind of comforting ASMR stream. Welcome back to the Justice for Ally of Justice. <laughs> Sorry guys, I can't do it. I can't. I'm just I'm normally just naturally loud, man. I just bah, you know. <laughs> okay, well now thank you, Jesus. Well, now that we got that out of the way, I can return to my normal speaking voice. You see, this is not my natural speaking voice. The truth is y'all, I sound straight gangster. That's right. This is your host, Floodmine14, and this is what I normally sound like. Oh, you know what? F you, Chuck. <laughs> and this, and we got a big weather system coming in right up here. Oh no, here comes the rain. All right. Wow, we're launching already? That's. Maybe this is a good idea. Maybe this is what my computer really needs. I don't know. This will really determine it for me. If it connects right away to um, a duel and we don't have to restart, that's... Hmm. Of course, gonna do more experimenting because I mean, this is a Tuesday night? And normally the internet around here is pretty solid on a Tuesday, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see, guys, we'll see, we'll see. Anyways. The rope, monster cardo. Ooh, ooh. combo, baby. All right. Anyways, hope you guys are doing pretty good today. Um, if you happen to catch the vod later on YouTube, yeah, just let me know what you guys think. And actually, it's pretty exciting. Like, yeah, like I didn't even realize like while I've been streaming this, but yeah, we were almost to the 300 gems mark for Ally of Justice, and that's uh, obviously, guys. You guys know I'm only doing the event for the gems, the free gems. Um, but yeah, so once we make it to the 300 gems, I don't know if I'll go for all the legacy pack, uh, tickets. Or, well, let me just make this a little caveat. If I do, I probably won't be using, you know, the overpowered ally of justice. Because it's just too strong, guys. We need to give the meta a break from our... Are we going to have a connection failure here? What's going on? 15 card extra. Oh, maybe they're reading. They're reading. They're reading. Watch. So, guys, you know, it is a Yu-Gi-Oh player, and they are reading, so this is going to take about, you know, five hours for them to learn. In phase. Hmm. Okay. I guess uh, we'll just uh, set and end the turn. Hmm. Okay. I'll set this card here, and I'll set one card face down. Sure. I don't care if Illuminate Reverse gets popped. I mean, it's really... You know what? Let's set a bluff. Let's set Magnet Reverse. 
Magnet Circle, level two. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's all coming together. Okay, your turn, kanji lady. It sounds a little rude. A uh, person with kanji who likes this card. Hey, what is this card? Isn't that a Kashi or something de deviant carnate? That's a pretty good card. I never pulled any, but uh, three of this card would have been pretty meta at one point. Okay, let's see if they've learned to read. I didn't. I took my turn fast. That way, it discourages them to read. Brilliant. Now, with them having no cards on the field, I suspect they have three copies of Infinite and Permanence. So we're not going to flip this card up just yet. I'm going to debate them with a different monster effect. Let's watch. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good today. Let's go. Ooh, Polymer. Well, I know what I just said, but here's the deal. Uh, we're just going to try to make something happen here. Let's set this. And now, if it is some kind of fusion-based deck, we've got them. So the only reason I'm being this aggressive is because against Blue Eyes, against um, uh, yeah, Dark Magician, we can steal their monster. Plus, the effect looks like it's resolving. So looks like we're good, boys and girls. All right, so let's feel the field. And we'll go into IP Mascarina. And then, yeah, we'll go into a Link 4. Let's do it. All right. All right. Evil by Evil Isol. Linko Shogun. IP Mask Internet Protocol Maskerina. Oh, yeah. And we can only go into Code Talker, right? Right. But. What if I were to tell you I can summon yet again? I tribute summon two ghosts to special summon. Do Advan Shokan or a Lord. I'm sorry. This card, Desperado, Barrel Dragon in America. And now, check it out, Dweeb. I'm gonna make my monster magnet proof. You see, my machines are coated in magic resistant armor. Making them immune to your attacks in America. Give you another fixin'. Axis cool, baby. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Do, 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 do. And this should be game in like two turns. So. Alright. I battle phase. And here we go. Attack. Alrighty. All right, now Lava Golem's a fire, so we don't have to worry about playing around that. However, I will Limit Reverse right now. The only reason I'm doing this is Chthonian Palmer, so let's bring back out IP Mascarina right here. All right. Guess I could have done this in the battle phase, but whatever. Turn in, though. <laughs> Ally of Justice too strong. Okay. All right. What if you have person? Maybe they just they already have the 300 gems, much like we do, and they don't actually need to win any of their games. So they are like just getting the legacy pack tickets. Possible. I might do the same strategy, like because honestly, if we already have the three gems, I don't really care how the duels go. Yeah, and I might just do this for a couple turns. Seven cards in hand and then discard for end phase. Uh, you'd be surprised how many decks are hand boned by this, like Black Wings and stuff, that need your opponent to at least have a monster before they start special summoning. And then, you know, you, you can just go into the battle phase each turn and bluff evenly. Pretty good strategy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because that's what, that's what she's been doing the whole game. You know, go into the battle phase, bluff evenly. Pretty good. Pretty good strategy. You'd be surprised how many players might quit because of that. So, but anyways, thanks for the game. Uh, good highlight for the first stream. And now she has to discard for in phase. Yeah, yeah. She's playing a real deck. So, yep, just being generous. And all she needs is the legacy pack tickets. That's my, you know, best estimation, guys. So, I'll set a couple cards face down. For no particular reason. 
and we will just attack. So, all right. Let's see if she has gores. <laughs> oh man, how funny would that be? On the Masquerina attack? Like gores. Gores would have been a stream highlight there because that would have been a misplay for me. So. <laughs> uh, hmm. That brings me to a unique thought. Hmm. Because we can try some other decks once we're done with Ally of Justice getting us the 300 gems. Hmm. Let's Google here. Gores. The Emissary of... Hmm. Ooh, 50 gems. Thank you, person. So, but let's take a look at her deck real quick. That way we know what's what. So, this is her deck. Ah! Is this the loner or no? Is it? Hmm. Could be. Hmm. Whatever. Anyways, let's uh, look for gores real quick here. I am very curious. Um, because it is a free seven, and we're running quite a few sevens. Hmm. Of course. <gasps> it's legal, but I don't have any. Ooh, I could generate one right now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Kimochi no box, you know? Hakyo Cube Goals no Toxi Shock. Wait, did we craft a royal? Ooh. Good one, Aquata. All right, and now we will remove Magnet Circle level. No, 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 we'll remove Machine Dupe because I actually haven't gotten extra copies of Unlimiter or the craft material yet. Or, you know, I keep saying I'll do it off stream, but obviously I'm, you know, normally pretty lazy, so I'm usually lying to you guys. You'll see that. <clears throat> anyway, let's save that. And let's go to our dailies. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, we crafted a royal course. Ooh, ooh. Anyways, receive all. That's a nice hot stream highlight. Anyways, um, let's check my... Yes, I need to tweet out the fact. I do this every stream, guys. But yeah, it's the t tweet time. So let's talk about our day while we're waiting for my slow internet to uh yeah um my day was is it's okay you know it's just uh yeah you know you know so yeah okay so i just switched the capture so sorry if you see any audio or video glitches now let's do this little check real quick okay let's see if that shows up on stream I'll do it a couple times. Matter of fact, I'm gonna check my phone for the video and audio, and I'm gonna do this because it shouldn't show like my start menu and stuff. Matter of fact, let's put the start menu up. And then we'll go here. Um, while this is going, I guess I can, uh, Let's do some solo. I don't know if we need to do solo for dailies, but we'll do... Isn't there an Ally of Justice solo over there? Hmm. Oh, there is, but it's locked. <laughs> okay, okay. That's... Um, let's go here. Ooh, Gears of Justice. Hey, that's just an adjacent. <laughs> let's do it. All right, reading time, guys, reading. Here we go. Scenario. All right. And I will begin the epic rating voice. Gears of Justice. Dispatch. This time on Dragon Ball Z. We're playing Master Duel Solo Mode for the first time. The world is a great tilt world thanks to the evil Dr. Jero. I'm sorry, Gearic, who had plans to conquer the world. But in came a hero, Goku. And created by Dr. Gyrick, the war rude Giano troops held the Earth in terror, much like Frieza did over planet Namek. However, will the Earth be conquered by the evil human Gears, or will another sinister force rise from somewhere in space, in Earth, or another planet, or another dimension in order to save Gohan? And will Krillin be able to become a Super Saiyan after the wish on the Dragon Balls? Eternal Ando Saiyan? Find out now on Dragon Ball. 
Balls E. And always remember, but where there's evil, there's justice. And for every clockwise gear, there's a counterclockwise one. Light and darkness. Half and half. Moon, cheese, dark and light. Heads or tails. Duality. And it just so happened that Professor Caruso, an authority on the gear engineering, secretly created Gears of Justice, Gear Giano. <laughs> to the scene at top speed, check out this corner. Now, on Dragon Ball Z, I'm sorry, on Yu Gi Oh! NT. Nightmare Troubadour, by me, Floodlon 14. Do, 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 do. Time to summon a god. Your wish has been granted. Oh. Step into the night toward night toward night toward toward Yu Gi Oh! NT. Stop into the night tour, night tour, night tour, you yo antique. Step into the night tour, a whole new adventure begins. We're going to challenge with the Flint and his friends. He's got a deck strong. He's going to shuffle them up and go. That's the Dragon Balls. They burn it again. Heart of the cards. Seven millennium items. You never know who's going to win. Who's going to win? And the and all items become into the stone. We get back to the millennium world. Your wish has been granted. Oh, oh, you oh. yo DBZ crossover. You yo you yo NT. Yeah. Hey Tim. Hey hey hey. Clip that, bro. Clip that. We gonna use that on the short tomorrow. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a fun stream. Fly to the other side of the earth. You've cleared Mach speed. Go, speed racer, go. Today on Trend Ball Z. Will. Um, the vehicle to be able to clear speed racer, and will this card be able to distract um, the vehicle from driving? Gear attacker. And now, to complete the Megazord, blast through whatever's in your path. My heavy artillery will decimate hostile enemies. That's good. It's always good to have a good team on your side, much like the team of Piccolo and Gohan. Why, well, he fought the Saiyans bravely with Krillin and all the other Z fighters on Earth. Gear Key, yes, Arsenal, the final piece of the puzzle. And combine these cards form Megatron. Go, go, Power Rangers. This real computer And I'll show you how deep I can dig today on Dragon Ball in T U G O Z. Gear, Gear Galger. Oh, how do you say this? Alger? Gear. Because this is normally, normally uh, Uger, right? Wait. Alger. Uger? How do you say this? Gear? This one's a tricky one. Gear Galger. Is it Gi Galger? Oh, is it Gi Geiger? Could be. Yeah, let me know how to say this one. I'm a Yu Gi Oh player, therefore. I have something else to tell you, a deep dark secret. I, the Dragon Ball Z announcer, can't actually use. Double shields, arches for show. I can withstand any attack. What a brave warrior. And now, Gear Gear Armor. Sweet, another hero to join the Z Fighters. And double barrel rolls. Blow Wake and the Giant, do a barrel roll. I've been waiting for you, Star Fox. Oh my god. The quotes, the quotes are going to be too easy. Super Gear Whip, Gear Giant, Giant X, aka the Power Ranger Megazord, will reveal itself today on Dragon Ball Z. These Gear Whips are just sweaty again. In order to follow Dr. Jero's Ivy Gear X plans, today on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Uh, how's that for a fucking start to the stream? Hell yeah, we're demonetized. All right.
Okay, I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player, so I can't read. So I'm just gonna click through all this and do the combos. Or do what the computer does. Oh wait, on this one they just tell you what to do, which is great. All right. Okay, now let's avoid the imperm column, which is al always the middle. First battle, Yuyano. Now I sub it. Gear Gigantic X. In attack mode. Uh, who years your gear is in the anime? I sad to tell you guys. I know, like a lot of people, you like Zexel, who watch my uh, YouTube and stuff, and all my channel. But uh, I've got some bad news for you. Yeah, I'm a big fan. I never watched the Zexel show. Can I be, really be considered a true Yu-Gi-Oh fan? Hmm. Yes. Yes, I can. Because I did watch Arc V. Okay, we attack. How would you summon this when there's no machine types in the graveyard, though? This scenario is unlikely to happen. Highly unlikely. They should have gave us, like, block attack in our starting hand. Or, I mean, stop defense. That would have been a little more believable. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to save this for a daily time when we need, um, a dailies, uh, solo duels, um, because we do not need them here. Oh, we do, actually. Okay. Eh, I'll do that myself. I don't want to do too much Dragon Ball Z announcer voice. Uh, also, exceed summon three times and spell card. Okay, guys. So for this, we're just going to go to our exceeds daily deck. Um, yeah, hope you guys don't mind, but we're just gonna go here, uh-huh, and then we're gonna switch decks, don't mind me, and we're gonna pick the Exceeds Daily deck. So here's how the deck works, it's pretty simple. All we do is summon the best Exceeds in the game, King of the Feral Imps, and pass. That's it, that's, that's how, how the whole deck works. A lot of level fours, a little bit of special summoning with the Ogdo Addicts, and yeah, that's really all there is. I mean, <laughs> Vidominon is here as a little troll, and in fact, let's uh, let's change the deck a bit. Let's change the deck just slightly, just for you guys, just for you, because I love you all so much. I will add Vidominaga. Normally, I do not. You know, it's all about exceeds getting it for the dailies. It's not a really about winning. It's about sending a message. I'm here for my dailies. Now get out of my way. Now, uh, uh, let's see. Let's add a couple of specific floodgates. Anti-fusion area and Venomanaga. Ready? Here we go. Alright, there we go, and what shall we remove? I hate to do it, Aron, but, uh, yeah. And I also hate to do it, um, we don't really need both of these, do we? Wait, called by exists. You know what? We'll remove Mars. Hmm, I like the combo with Mars and Kid, though. Wait, where's Kid? Is, is Alien Kid not in the deck? Oh, wait, here he is, right here. Um, dang, I actually kind of do like the combo with Kid. If we go first, if we go first. Um, hmm, hmm, <laughs> maybe I'll remove one Ammonite. Wait, actually, didn't I get a third? Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Alien? Hmm, 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 hmm. Oh no, I do only have two. <laughs> Maybe I'll add Alien Warrior, sure. 
you know what? We're feeling a little, yeah, more level fours is good. Um, hmm, <laughs> other kid. Um, so we'll take out four cards. You know what? Let's take out Ash. I'm a little too reliant on it. Let's take out. Let's take out Scape Ghost. Take a little break from the token collecting. Let's take out Scape Goat as well. Normally I don't do that, but yeah. And let's take out. I like this because you know normally Venomenon, the bet one of the best way to beat them is through battle, and you just run out of materials. But if you play this, then yeah. Also Venomenaga. I mean, if you really are trying to win with her, and she can't be destroyed by battle if you play Wabaku. So I know it says she's. Um, unaffected by other cards and their effects, but Wabaku technically affects. It's a weird part of the effects. It doesn't, you know, target Venomanaga directly. Basically, it affect. It doesn't. It's it's kind of like a lingering effect, which does work on Venomanaga. It's kind of a weird ruling, but uh, anyways, um, let's remove maybe one damage equals reptile. Shh, maybe one limit reverse. Hmm. No, I like Limit, Limit Reverse. I could remove the Band Plate on. And add the second Summon Limit that I got. Okay. And then... Let's remove... You know what? This card is a little hit and miss. Damn, it's so good though. I've seen this effect dodged far too many times with all the quick effects though. So F it. Just for these this the dailies, we'll remove it. And let's also add an additional MST. So. <clears throat> and for that, I will remove one brain. Or one theft card. Let's remove one brain, yeah. Brains. That's the only reason that card's in the deck for the jokes. Anyways. There we go. Let's get the dailies for exceed summoning. The main reason I'm doing this here is because obviously ally of justice. We don't exceed, you know. We mostly sync room, so or play black wings. So, anyways, let's go first and wish me luck, boys and girls. And all we want is to exceed summon at least once in each duel. So, only doing this for the dailies. Don't mind me. I doubt we'll actually win. So, oh well. I stand corrected. Okay, let's set two cards. Okay. Let's reveal this. And then we will summon. We I play Zoha. You don't mess with the Zoha. Darn endo. Good luck, Blackwing player. Hope you like floodgates. <laughs> Uh, nope. Let's turn this off. Nope. Okay. Hmm. I believe this will not work. Nice use of that Harpy's Feather Duster, Blackwing player. <laughs> Care to try your Lightning Storm? Whoops. <laughs> ah, there it is. Black Whirlwind, huh? So, I'm expecting a special summon. Let's see. That is it. Was that a normal summon? It was. Hmm. Maybe I should have put this in defense. Now, does this, does this have another effect? Okay, now that they search... No, 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 we lock them in. Wait for them to special summon Gale. We play summon limit. Ready? Okay, hope you like your two summons. We Activate this. Uh... No, there's no need. I'll be able to use limit reverse next turn. Hope you like your two summons, Blackwing player. It's been fun. Unless you're carrying an M MST back there. Then I'll be impressed. <laughs> Battle phase. 
Question mark? Hmm. Ooh, getting rid of damage in favor of getting this card. Might be a good call, honestly. Boogity, boogity, hi, fine. What? What does that say? Oh, hello, fine mama F3. How's your day going? We're doing pretty good. We're up against a Blackwing player, and they like to special summon 20 times in one turn. And they've only been able to special summon two because we have summon limit. Yay! Anyways, we're going to activate Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Then, wait, did they not destroy this card? What? Anyways, we're going to summon Alien Shock Trooper. Have you played the Ultimate Duelist yet? Yes, I have. And his name was... Me! Anyway... Let's go overlay these two monsters and... <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, would you consider a Dark Magician player the ultimate duelist? Or perhaps, would it be a Red Eyes player? A shout out bonus life point? Oh, wait, what? I'm not sure what you're talking about. But, um, thank you. Anyways. We're going to activate this card, and then I'm going to activate this card. Oh, you said hello to me. Oh. Oh, okay. Thanks. Anyways, we're going to activate this card. Yes, I say hello to all members in chat, regardless of their screen username. So, you're welcome. Uh, let's use this card. And we want to mill this card. Wee! And now uh, with... That being done, we can... Uh, wait, why can I not play Limit Reverse? Hang on a second. Um... Hmm, I have targets. I'm sorry, am I being floodgated? What's going on here? Uh, I don't know. If you are floodgated... Oh wait, I'm floodgated by my own summon limit. Right, right, okay. Took me a second there to get chat, but I figured it out. Yes, because our first summon was attached. It was Stealth Burster, this card. And our second summon was King of the Fair Rumps, who lets us search stuff. Anyways, well, we can summon during their turn with this card, so. All right. And I did reveal this, right? I hope so. Anyways, good luck, Blackwing player. But you can only summon two times. How will you synchro summon by summoning twice? Whoa, 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 whoa. A Blackwing player using <gasps> Brick Eyes? I've never seen this before. Hmm. Uh, no, 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 seriously, guys. This is, uh, what? Uh, okay. What in the world's going on here? Well, they'll probably summon Blue Eyes, but... Um, I have one question, Nani. Uh, anyway, Fine Mama of Three, I have a question for you. Uh, do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> if so, what's your favorite anime or deck or whatever? What's your challenge ID number? It's about time for you to duel me. Oh, I see. Um, I can't look at that while I'm in the middle of a duel, but uh, yeah, I will give you my friend code here shortly. Okay, he's done his two summons per turn. Now, he can attack. Go, Blue Eyes, White Dragon! Oh, I'm sorry, let's do the English translation for the viewers. Go, Blue Eyes, White Lightning. And we'll take the 600. Not a big deal. I will limit reverse and end phase, though. That's... yeah. Okay, you gonna set any cards, Blackwing player? Most, if they set a card, it's usually Icarus attack. Now, I would normally be worried, but you need a Wing Beast for that. Um, but yeah, I don't have my player code memorized. Um, Mama. I'm gonna call you Mama, if that's okay. But, uh, yeah. Or you can tell me what you would prefer to be called in chat. Um, in phase, we, I can summon this card. So we'll play Limit Reverse, uh-huh, and I'll target this card, and I'll put it right here, uh-huh, 
Then I'll activate this, and then I activate this card, and then I activate this card, and then I activate this card, I activate this card, I activate this card, then I activate this. What? You heard me. I activated it. Animation! Set a card, sure. We will set the best card in the game. Nope, not that card. It is called... Snake Rain! Wee! And we'll set it right here. And we'll take this card. Oh, this has actually been a pretty good duel. Okie dokie. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, Mama, what is your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh deck? Or you can keep me waiting by being the ultimate duelist and choose not to reveal your ultimate deck because that's the 5 IQ play. Anyways, we're going to send that to the graveyard. Trust me, I have my reasons. We're going to play this card. What's this do? By discarding one card, well then, I can send up to four reptiles with different names to the graveyard. So I send this, 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 and... This card. Okay. Then I activate this card. And with this, well then, I can send this card to the graveyard, Sinister Serpents. Okay. And since I have five reptiles with different names, I can special summon a monster to the field. And I don't know, I think I'll choose this card. Wee! Alrighty, I'll set a card. I'll move this to attack. And we win. Okay, I attack. You attack. This card. Bye bye. And Venomanaga. You will attack. This card. Okay. I end my turno. <laughs> Boy, that was pretty good. Alright. Alright, now he's going to do some end phase of gaming himself, special summoning Brick Eyes, I'm sorry, Blue Eyes from the deck. Very good, very good, very good. Jet Dragon, yay! Which can bounce stuff to the hand, so. Alrighty. Good luck, Blackwing. You can do it. I believe you can make a comeback. Wee. Okay. This is going to be an interesting... I definitely need to look at the deck. Blackwing plus Blue Eyes? That's an interesting one for sure. Hmm. Interesting combo. Nope, that's fine. Do they have the alternative dragon? Oh man. If only this was Rise of the Snake Deity. I'd actually feel pretty good about this duel. But actually, you know, Blue Eyes does love to fuse, so... They play Ultimate Fusion. I'm going to be like, Mmm, my Millennium Eye saw that coming. God, the boy. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. Winning all your duels. Keeping calm. You know, that's the secret to Yu-Gi-Oh. You gotta stay calm, play sharp. You know. Anyway. I don't know why he took back Blue Eyes. Because, uh... For this to get the bounce, Blue Eyes has to be on the field or in the graveyard. Hmm. Yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, how are you going to get it back in the graveyard? <laughs> he, he, he turned off his own jet dragon. There it is, boys and girls. There's the scoop. There's the scoop, everyone. <laughs> Whoops. Well, we are in gold, so there you go. Anyway, I think I exceed summoned one time there. Okay, and now time to answer. Uh, I don't know if you're still here, person I asked, but um, let's see here. What is my friend code? I have no idea. Uh, I am going to go here, and then we're going to figure out how to find my friend code. Wee! Okay. I'll take this card. Dee -dee -doo -dee 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 -da. All right, so we need two more Exeed summons. Uh, I guess it's here, right? Um, hmm, um, I... Hmm, maybe I'll go to my profile. Hmm. Aha! I have found my friend code. I think? 
Let's post this in chat. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 Okay, well, uh, thanks for the reminder. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're still here, Fine Mama of Three, but um, yeah, several other people have asked me for that, uh, my friend code. Um, oh, and I actually misspelled it, so let me type it again. Dash one, four, two. Dash seven, four, three. Yeah, yeah, several people have asked me for that code on my YouTube channel, so you know what? Congratulations, uh, Find Mom of Three, you made the short. Uh, yeah, so for the, uh, we're gonna make this little clip for YouTube. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so Find Mom of Three, thanks for asking me for my friend code. Yeah, several people have asked me this on YouTube, and uh, yeah, now I just posted it in chat, so this is probably gonna be a short. Uh, hey, uh, Tim, can we add this to the uh, shorts clips? Uh, um, information section. Yeah, 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 info, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 not Dragon Ball Z announcer uh, information section. About, oh, right, right, it's called the about section on uh, the U-tubs, the tubs that are you. Okay, thanks, Tim. Anyway, Tim, Tim's going to work on that. He's my Discord mod. Um, uh, what was that, Tim? Shh, you jokes are, I don't think so, Tim. That's a home improvement joke. Shame, shame, really. Um, you can't really make uh, Tim Allen jokes anymore. But then again, was, was Tim Allen a... Uh, he didn't have publicity problems during home improvement, so I think that joke is still kosher. What do you think, Tim? Hmm. Tim's nodding his head. It's like, yeah, it wasn't offen he wasn't offensive then, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's okay to like that show. I think so. <laughs> the intro was always funny, though. It was just like... What was it like, Tim? Let me do it. Let me do it. <clears throat> Hang on. Hang <laughs> Alright, I better not hum too much, right? Yeah, YouTube copyright. Yeah, I know. YouTube's boring. But uh, we have to keep in mind we post the VODs there, so... Hi, YouTube! <laughs> and, uh, you know, if you happen to be a bot watching... Beep, beep, boop, bop, beep, ba -da, And if you happen to be a uh, actual, you know, channel uh, surveyor... Hello! Welcome to a world of laughs. A world of amazement. A world of tunes, YouTube boy. All right. I don't think Fine Mama 3 is still here. Uh, you know what? Maybe they fell asleep. I am streaming pretty late here at night, and uh, I've heard I have a really boring, soothing voice. Hmm. Anyway, full combo. We got Sanyan plus Oasis. All right, let's do it, baby. Let's search for some Ally of Justice cards and hope they're playing lights. I summon Sanyan in attack mode. When this monster sent to the graveyard, well then, we already know what Sanyan does. Uh, maybe I should set this. Hmm. True. I really should. Turn into. Okay, it's your turn. Wee! Oh, that's funny. And like last duel, I was making. Is Master Duel secretly recording my streams? Because you know, like last duel, I was just making those like wee jokes. That's that's hilarious. I think Master Duel's spying on me, man. Hmm. Oh boy, she did. Evenly matched. Let's see it. Show me that evenly. One, two, three, four, five. Evenly. Hmm. My Millennium Eye saw that coming. We. But I have a good news for you. For well, now I will show you this. Hmm. Magnet Force. Hmm. This card makes my Sangan unaffected. Just kidding. I think he's actually gonna read the card. <laughs> Okie dokie, now we choose two cards to banish. This one, and this one. Whee! Now let's see what deck he's really playing. 
I'm guessing Labyrinth. Whee! Uh, not really a good choice for me to keep either way. I guess we just attack with Sanyan, yeah? No fear. Ooh. Hmm. A tuner. A five. Hmm. Wow, I need to add a level five synchro to this deck. That is... The odds of this happening are... Let's just attack first and ask questions later. Wow, the odds of that actually happening are pretty slim, honestly. For us to keep Sangan, you know what I mean? It only has a thousand attack. You always expect Sangan to go to the grave, but... Hmm, interesting. Look at self, at a level 5 tuner. Ooh, Ally of Justice has a level 5 uh, synchro, right? Yes, they do. Catastor! <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have the craft material for that. Or then again, I might have. But we get we got the royal gores, so I ain't crying. <laughs> I definitely will be able to use gores in way more stream content than a you know catastor. So sorry, ally of justice fans. You know it is what it is. Speaking of gores, gores would be pretty good to bluff in this duel. No one ever expects scores. All right. Wee. Ah, that should help them get out of this jam because obviously they have no monsters, which you don't want. No, but you can't play Grin Maju, which is a fire. Hmm, that's a pretty good card. Hmm. At least it's out of the way, I guess. Ah, Blue Eyes FTK. Nice. Not bad. Took him a while to draw that uh, one card, though. But they get three Blue Eyes instantaneously, so pretty easy. Nice, oh, nice FTK. Wait, what? Only two Blue Eyes. If they miss the OTK up, uh, if we get Raigeki, we win here. I'm just saying. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Hmm. Let's activate this. Okay, then we go to our battle phase and bluff evenly. Interesting. Okay. We'll set Call of the Haunted. And call it good. Hmm. I can't believe they're running Rage of Blue Eyes. Rage of with Eyes of Blue Turbo. That's interesting. Hmm. Huh. Wow. And they must have banished one of their blue eyes. Interesting. I guess that is a strategy. Hmm. And it worked. I mean, I had Sangan. Uh, thought we were all good, but this Blue Eyes player had a little variety. Hori ve no stream attack. Is that the first time we've seen the finishing animation? Holy smokes, I think it is. Wait, how did we not see it after we faced, like, that one stream where we faced, like, nine Blue Eyes players? I'm sorry, what? It is. I'm not, hey Tim, I'm not crazy, right? Tim? Nah, eh, Tim's sleep. Anyway, um, wow, yeah, it literally is. All you want is this card and the OTK. I respect it. Okay. Hmm. If I were to change one card in this deck, what would it be? Hmm, the reloads. Two is fine. Three? You can change that out for... Hmm. Something, yeah. I don't know. Upstart Goblin? Because Upstart Goblin doesn't matter. This is 3,000, 6,000, 9,000. And if you use Upstart, 
they'll be at 9,000. What? Yeah, uh, or you can change out any of these cards for one upstart. Um, maybe a droplet? I don't know, man. And wait, why is Cross out in here? No, legit, that is... Isn't Cross out a brick? Um, I'm no expert on how this card works. I can't read. But, um, this card's a brick. I guess it banishes a blue eyes from your deck. But why would you ever want to do that? Huh. Wow. Yeah, uh, this is a brick, so switch this out for upstart? Uh, if it was me personally, I'd switch out one reload and this. That's the deck building mistake. Everything else? Eh, I don't know about two reboot either. That's... And I mean, I know Labyrinth's a thing, but honestly, how often are you going to need Reboot? Hmm. Well, I guess you do want to OTK, so... Hmm. Then again, if they have four traps, what's the odds of them having, like, a trap counter? Pretty high, really, so... Hmm. Okay. <laughs> also, a little bit of anti-synergy here, if I may. I understand the dim fizz, I really do. But let's say your strategy is quote unquote working and you're floodgating your opponent while you're waiting for your this Rage with Eyes of Blue. Um, if you're floodgating your opponent, this card's officially a brick, so Yeah. I mean, there's is a lot of effects that pop stuff. And you can always set this, but that's questionable as well. Yeah. Maybe one called by. If it was me running this. I'm putting way too much thought into this. Let's move on. Just saying. Couple bricks in that deck though. Couple of bricks. Enough to build a house? No. But enough to uh, get laughed at by the neighbors. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Boy, this hand is rough. Let's just pass. Hopefully we trick them and I think they went first. So let's try to use the, the uh, Millennium Reverse Psychology. Make them think they went first, so. I don't know, wait, that's what we're doing. We're bluffing gores, we're bluffing gores, we're bluffing gores. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start saying that now that I've got the royal. I'll probably put it in like every deck. That's crazy. And at some point, we're gonna make gold for gores. Uh, well, Tim Sleep. Hey, uh, Monica. Uh, yeah, we're gonna make gold for gores. Ooh, a light deck. Ooh, ooh, ci ooh, but Cypher. Ooh, you know what, guys? Normally, I don't do this because. No, 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 what? No, no, no. I could make Final Fantasy eight jokes and also uh, Matrix jokes. Damn you, Cypher. You know, Trinity. Uh, but also, you know, Cypher from from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. Oh, yeah, remember when he was like to uh, Squall? He was just like, hey, better not piss your pants. And then Zell was like, eh, bastard. <laughs> eh. So anyways, you know, <laughs> they, they keep moving on. So anyways, eh, what do you want us to do? <laughs> yeah, this is going to be about a 20-minute turn for a random person here with different varieties of kanji, so... Yeah, yeah. If you want, grab some popcorn, grab a nice little, you know, take a 30 minute walk and come back. It'll still be virtual. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the caveat that's if they do the combo right. Actually, that might be our win condition. Let's hope they miss combo here and then in turn.
All right, let's bluff the evenly matched. Let me see what tins I want to go into. Hmm, that one's good. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Wow, that's crazy. Usually Galaxy Eyes will put the, uh, you know, uh, Photon Dragon in the grave, but they didn't. Hmm. With that being said, I think here's what I have to do. I gotta do this. Interesting, interesting. So we can't actually, hmm, do too much. Um, I will banish this and this. Leave him with that, because I'll use that to go into Mascarina. Okay, I'll special summon this. Okay. In defense mode. I will she says will say. That card they left. Although I might have helped them by doing this now that I think about it. Um Yeah, not a smart move, Josh. Um Hmm. Yeah, I think I just helped unbrick them, actually. Let's see, because this has a, if it's... Hmm. Wow, I did. Yeah, I helped them unbrick. That's a uh, double misplay by Flood. So, yep, we just flooded their hands with good cards. I thought about doing this to put, you know, so Limit Reverse will be live, but ultimately I think this is going to be a mistake. So, because they, yep, whoops. <laughs> All right, my bad. I didn't feel like reading Twin Raptor, but oh well, that's my bad. Plus one MBT sub. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. All right, well, at least we get to show the animation of Mascarena like two or three times. <laughs> oh, good. Hey there guys, when I'm working, yep. I'm streaming here on uh, Twitch and working with Twitch chat, so uh, yeah, if you want to come uh, over and uh, yeah, join us over at twitch.tv slash Pokemon 14. Alright, same as my YouTube. Bye guys, see you. hope to see you there.
Alrighty, chat. Let's see if they have the uh, Cold by the Grave using my Millennium Eye. I've determined they do. Let's use Limit Rivers. Now, this will force you to show me whether or not you have the card that is also a thing. IP Masquerader. Ooh, looks like you won't be finishing me off this turn, random person. Honest? Oh no! How could I have ever seen that coming? Mm, a light deck playing honest. The short I just made on YouTube, and we'll be good. <laughs> All right. Here we go. I'm just gonna title it "I'm Streaming on Twitch Right Now." All right. seen you all night. Good to see you. Okay, and I will summon this card in attack mode. You know what? Let's set soul release too. Let's bluff. Seen a lot of soul release today, so. Yeah, this is like the second duel in a row we've drawn this card. Interesting. Alrighty, turn into. Trick stars? Oh my. Would be a shame if someone just ended your main phase, Trick Star player. Hmm. Battle phase time. Well, doth that with haveth a response? like you won't be OTKing me this turn. <laughs> Alright, they are free to do other combos though, so let's see. Card they just played, by the way. I should see if I have that card. Trickstar Festival. Hmm. Holy. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Hmm. So I can play this and have light tokens in my dark deck. Ooh. Let me write this down. Trick. Star. Uh huh. Festival. Hmm. Not a bad card to play. You know, I have to be careful because it does lock you. But sometimes I just want to play tokens for the Chthonian Palmer, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Does this affect target? It does not. Wow. With that being done, I think we target this card. Yeah, Nightshade, so... There we go. I will called by Nightshade. There we go. Maybe they do want the link back, but I don't know. 
Let's target Nightshade, just in case. Nice attack gain. Glad you got a battle phase to use all those points with. Trickstar device. Alrighty. And they should combo for another uh, 15 minutes and keep doing all the burn combos with the Dark Room of Nightmare. So, yeah. Pretty good Trickstar engine, honestly. And they probably have a couple more special summons like Candina in the Sonar Turn with Reincarnation. Standard Trickstar stuff, really. Alright. Yep. Yay! More Trickstar cards! More Burn! More Dark Room of Nightmare! They only need to do this combo. Um, let's see the total damage. 3 plus 2. I only need to do it 5 more times, and that's game, so. Pretty easy OTK. Pretty easy. Pretty big in the OCG right now. So. Yep, there's Foxglove Witch, which will take us down by 1,500 more points. So there we go. Mm -hmm. Yep, and we control two cards, which is another, um, yeah, another 400, another 700. So. tokens all right honestly my called by might have been better saved for this but I didn't expect trick stars to have a premature burial to be quite frank but then again monster born's played in every deck so you know I probably should have saved it to be quite frank but it's okay they debated me successfully good job trick star player I'm sure you've never burned a player out on turn one Oh, the sarcasm is just too good. <laughs> I'm having fun with this, though, honestly. Yep. And there's the Candina. I'm sorry, Nightshade. So there you go. But you can't use Nightshade's effects this turn. Hey. <laughs> anyway, they're just going to link it off. Link summon, link summon, link summon. We like, still haven't seen the link four. Jeez. All right. And now time to get the rest of the burn effects. We Foxglove Witch, another good uh, 900 burn. Yep. And then they should be able to go into the link four for the final burn effect. So there you go. Oof. That called by on Nightshade might save us? Yeah, I don't think it will. I think they can still combo off enough. So... But, hey, they do not have Reincarnation, so... Yeah, let's see. see. Alright, this should be the Link 4. Here we go. Ultimate Link. Madonna. And, folks, that is game. Because Madonna, as you see here, yep. does this. So, yep, pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Yep, in your graveyard with a different name, and I count 12. So that's game. Oh wait! He messed up. He messed up. He miscomboed. He miscomboed. He miscomboed. With the arrows, this points to a card. 
right? This card points to no monsters. What? I think he might have messed up. I don't know. Anyways, time for this card. So release. Here we go. Do, 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 do. All right. Then we set this, and we just let them burn us out. That's the best strategy. So if I set Blackout, you know, they're going to get more burn. It's going to accelerate the burn, so we just let them win, you know. If they battle phase, that's their biggest mistake, honestly. Well, this should be game here pretty soon, though. Let's see. Da -da -da -da, bloom, desires. Yeah, sure, why not? Do -do 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 -do. Hope to draw to some more burn. And this should be game. They definitely have a special summon or something. Um, yep, that's game. Light stage. Very good. Good game. Yep. Hopefully they just link it and burn some more. That would definitely speed this up. Yeah, I'm gonna grab a little stack out here though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Me getting bored by a trick star player? That would never happen. Hmm. Or a branded player. I always find those duels highly entertaining. And now, and he takes it over the 30 yard line, and oh my god, it's down at the one yard line. All right, they have now summoned the ultimate monster, Trickstar. Crimson Heart, and he has over, she has over 22 touchdowns in one season. Yeah, I guess, you know, she's been really clutch this year. And, you know, <laughs> and in the red zone, she's pretty good because she's red herself. All right, great duel, Trickstar player. I've never been burned before. Wow, who could have seen that coming? Anyway... Next duel, <laughs> dude, dude. Why do why are Trick Stars like the linchpin of every event? Like, if you can play Trick Stars in an event, do it. They're never hit, and you know, pretty consistent on the and just add some magical cylinders if you're missing some cards. Like, easy, easy. They probably got to their gems so fast, so fast. Hmm. Yeah. Note to self: build Trick Stars. Like, you can literally use it for everything. I'm, I'm not hating one bit. I'm just more... I'm more impressed they drew the Dark Room of Nightmare turn one than anything. But my Master Duel luck is never that good. Never. Like, if I draw Macro Cosmos here, I mean, you know, that's never going to happen. So. All right. Ooh, we can buff Gores. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's do it, baby. Let's buff Gores. Yes. Yes. Now's the time, guys. Let's... You know what? No. We're, we're not going to bluff Gores. What we're going to do is summon Sangan and then bluff Gores. By summoning a monster, they won't even be thinking about Gores. Hmm. Alrighty, I summon Sangan in attack mode. The only reason I'm not going to play Polymer is because... Yeah, it can sit there for a while. But if they play Branded Fusion, so help me. Oh, boy. I will be slightly irritated, or if I see a tier elements card. <laughs> hey, fine, Mama of Three. Um, earlier in chat, I don't know if you can see it or not, but I posted my ID. 
I guess you might have t must have taken like a work break or whatever, but yep. Let me know when you're down to duel. Or if you want to duel on the next stream, that's cool too. I did get the ID. Thank you. You're welcome. <gasps> Could we have our first connection win of the stream where their connection fails? <gasps> I doubt it. I'll be defeating you shortly. Okay, I look forward to it. Just like I look forward to being defeated by that Trickstar player. I've never been defeated by a burn deck before. <clears throat> Intense sarcasm implied. <gasps> Wait, that was a normal summon. Uh, right? Um, yeah, that's new. Huh. End phase? Oh my. Um, I don't know what to say about that, folks. Huh. I'm sensing a theme from Master Duel here. Anyway, we're just going to keep the field the same and. Back. Wow. You cannot send... Wait, what? You cannot take life points from the undead. Yes, you can, because if you destroy a zombie monster, well then, they still take the damage, and a lot of zombies have zero defense, meaning recurring nightmares are a perfect card in the deck. But piercing... Cards that do inherent piercing battle damage, well, yeah. <laughs> you know what's up, fine mama of three. Yeah, cards that do piercing like Blue Eyes Chaos Max can take out zombies in one hit, which is why I play Book of Moon to put them in defense. Heck yeah. Alrighty, you played your Catch Your Eye. Let's see if they use like Monster Reborn on it and go into a Lynx. I have no idea what they're doing. I have no idea. Hmm. 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 If you are running a light deck, though, this card seems pretty good. Unless it's an Exceeds deck, because this is a free special summon. So yeah, just run a, a Link deck with this. Winning. Huh. Anyways, ooh, shiny. Alright, I activate Pot of Extravagance. This lets me draw two cards after I banish six. Now then, show me that Ash Blossom. Oh wait, you can't play that during this event. Eh. And I didn't put it in the Imperm column either. Ooh, cards. Okie dokie. I'll set this card. And then, we'll just keep attacking. Sand Gan Beatdown, baby. All right, I end my turn. Anyway, welcome back, Fine Mama 3. I'll be ready to duel you shortly. Well, guys, this is a genuine question mark. This doesn't happen often, but I'm legitimately confused what the theme of this person's deck is. Like, seriously. <gasps> Are we going to see an evenly match? I doubt it. Hmm. Like, I am legitimately confused. Wait a minute. What if they have cores as well? Mm. Oh wait, they can't. They can't have gores, they're running lights. Psyframe gear gamma! Okay. Alrighty. Let's play this card. Okie dokie. Sand Gan beat down. Continue. Sand Gan attack. Okay. Turn in though. Alright. Hmm. 
Can I draw an Ally of Justice card before I finish them off? That's the real question. You know, pure draw. Not searching with Sangan, but if I, like, purely draw a Core Destroyer, that'd be some part of the cards, man. I guess while well, this person's trying to read their cards or collect the legacy pack tickets, we can, uh, I don't know what she's doing. I mean, or, you know, I, I mean, that is a possibility, though. People that have already completed the event will just kind of sit there and go through the phases and, yeah, collect legacy tickets. Best time to get free wins is toward the end of the event, folks, not the beginning. So if you're looking for free wins, I guess duel tonight? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Pretty weird deck, honestly. I'm going to definitely have to take a look uh, after this is over, but uh, yeah, wow. <laughs> Also, the fact that I'm not acti- think about it, one thing, I haven't activated a single monster effect. Huh. And uh, that could be hand boning him right now. Huh. Four trap effects. Wow, yeah, I, uh, hmm, that's probably, hmm, let's see what happens when I summon a monster. Get out of here, Gale. Let's see if they activate a Cyframe card. <clears throat> nope, okay, we're good. Yeah, and they can't have gores because they're running lights, so... I don't know, I think they're just legacy pack farming? I have no idea. But these are the duels that are perfect to get free content against. Like, um, if I had better choosings in my hand, I would definitely try <clears throat> to get an ally of justice combo we've yet to show. Um, hmm, but how would I do that if they don't have any monsters? Well, I could do that, yeah. That definitely works, so. Hmm. I'm going to start shutting things down and cleaning off my bed. That's probably a good idea. There it is. <laughs> okay. So, they didn't even get the Legacy Pack tickets. My goodness. Sorry about that, guys. That was a weird one. I mean, we'll take the 500 medals, but geez. Uh, let's take a look at that deck. Huh. All right, well... Um, and, well, you're kidding. That's the duel? Out of all the duels we've done, that's the one that gets us the 300 gems? Ah, well, feels a little unsatisfying, to be honest, so I'm not going to count that one. I'm going to say we still need one more win. Um, this deck... Okay, so it is just Cyframe Turbo. And a lot of the Cyframes can't do anything if I don't do anything. Huh. Looks like I made the right call after all. Going with San Gen beat down. Hmm. My Melini Mice saw that coming. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let's ask a person if they want to do viewer duels. Um, let's go find Find Mama of Three in chat. Or I can whisper her, I guess. Do 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 do. Okay. Some people aren't cool with you randomly whispering them though, so. I'm just going to wait for a couple minutes while we take a look, little quick bathroom break. Uh, but I will post my ID back in chat. So here we go. All right.
All right. Also, I'll double check and see if the YouTube shorts up on the fact that I'm streaming. So, just in case anyone's interested in that. All right, and then we should be good to do. All right. All right. Okay. Okie dokie tweet sense, and now I will see if this person is ready. Be right back. Already.
Okie dokie guys, how many solo duels do I need for my daily? Uh, let's go check, back and check actually. Do 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 dee do da da da. Missions! And for the daily we need, excuse me, ooh, two more solos and two more exceed summons. Um, tell you what everyone, for the solos I'm just gonna do a quick little, this is usually where I do solos, um, my voice is a little tired from doing the Ally of Justice stuff. I mean, not the stuff, the, <laughs> the Giragano stuff. I definitely didn't expect to do that with my voice. Uh, let's actually open some packs here. With the gems we got from the festival. The festival. And we will open Cash Terror, as always. Um, well, not always, but uh, actually some of these packs are leaving soon, right? Uh, maybe I should open, like, the Labyrinth or the... Ooh, I could open like a starter deck. Ooh, I could get the final for Blackwing's Pride. Uh, we are missing some cards we want three ofs in there, so you know what? Hmm, do I really want to commit that much gems to it, though? I gotta think on this. Hmm. Okay, we'll do it. In case I want to show Blackwing's and some uh, stuff. Ooh, I could also run Dark Magician. I am missing the third souls. Hmm. Here's the question. What's more stream worthy on content? Souls? You know what? Here's what we're going to do. Chat and future YouTube VOD viewers. I'm going to save the 500 gems. And I don't know when I'll be posting the VOD of the stream of this. But I'm going to say I'm going to keep 500 handy. And I'm going to let you guys in YouTube, here in Twitch chat, etc. Vote on which structure deck you want me to buy. So I've decided with the 500, we are going to buy a structure deck. Don't ne necessarily know if we will buy one of the ones we already have, like Vortex of Magic to get the third souls and stuff, and the third, third circle, or the Pride to get the third of the synchros, or we'll buy a new structure deck. Um, yeah, if you want to troll me, you know, vote for this deck, because I don't know how pendulums work. And that's a lot of reading. All right. Anyway, with that in mind, we will not do anything because we technically, that number up there says 40, not 540. So, okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's go for solo mode. And I know where to go for quick solo mode, so don't mind me. We'll just go here. And we'll go here, and we'll go play, and we'll go here, and I'll choose my deck, and I'll change decks, and I will pick the Cyber Dragon deck. Where is Cyber Dragon? I haven't seen that in a while. Uh, right here, wow. Yep, definitely been a while since I messed with this deck, but, uh, oh, oh man, I gotta get rid of the instant fusion. Okay. Okay. Alright. So, go here. And let's mess with the Cyber Dragon deck. Man, we haven't done this in a while. A while, Yugi. A wild dragon. Did I say Yugi? Yeah, it works. We're playing Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, with that being said, let's add summon limit. Mm-hmm. Yes. Do this. 
Let's add summon breaker. Summon breaker. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. And let's add. <clears throat> huh, I thought that's what that was car called. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Love this card. All right. Okay, and then we'll add a... Do, 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 do. field spell I guess. Well let's delete any other things I've searched in. Field spell activate. Okay. I'm looking for the quick play spell that does this. Um doo -doo 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 -doo. field spell activate so funny a lot of people ask me you know because this is my mascot on the YouTube channel <laughs> it's so funny because <laughs> I'm sure like a lot of people won't watch to this point in the VOD but a lot of people ask me like hey flood when are you ever gonna make a mascot deck I'm like mascot they're like yeah the uh, dark paladin deck I'm just like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you guys want to know the truth are you guys here in twitch right now at this very hour here's a little secret Okay, okay, that was a slight joke. What I truly meant was, I'm not gonna make it until we reach 5,000 subs on YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah, if you want to see Dark Paladin Turbo Deck by me, Bloodmon 14, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tell all your friends, and then hit the subscribe button again <laughs> and like and comment. Because obviously that helps the algorithm. <laughs> What's funny is that, like I'm halfway joking, but that's gonna be a good short, right, Tim? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways. I'll search for it later. Don't worry.
I think I'll add this one yeah, as well as as far as the kaijus go, uh, maybe three of the light, and then that one, and then maybe a couple more honest in this deck. We'll call it good. Sorry, I just kind of drifted off in thought there. Um, one thing I may want to get rid of as well, it's more of a banished focus version of Cyber Dragons. And a uh, whole oh, fateful hour, that's hilarious. Um, but I may want to get rid of anything that special summons from the grave. I think Valley's actually pretty good. Um, uh, also, I ooh, I crafted Machine Dude. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Okay. So now this isn't special summon, right? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we'll move this down to one, based on the direction I'm going. Um, but I'll put this in. Okay, then we will go with Gores, mm -hmm. yep, and then we will put down maybe one more Junk Synchron, do I have Rhoda in here? Hang on. Reinforcements, reinforce. Uh, reinforce uh, the army. That's what we want. Um, I do have a cat. Hang on. I might. I might have spelled it wrong. So. Wow. Um, uh, army. Hmm. There it is, there it is. Wow, I don't know why that didn't come up. I guess I spelled... Oh, it's reinforcement. No S. Wow, that's crazy. No no S on Rhoda. Okay, okay. I... Hey, I learned something new tonight. Hmm. Um... Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, also, overflow is good. But assuming my deck is working correctly, hmm, hmm, hmm it, it's tricky. It's tricky. I think two is good on the flow. Hmm. Yeah. Also, call of the haunted can go. Um. Anything else that relies on the graveyard specifically? One of these does revive stuff. One that's I think it's this one. There. Which I actually love, but, uh, hmm, yeah, it does, it does, hmm, 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 yeah, sorry, Nashtair, I might cut it all together, or just leave it at one, yeah, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. okay, and we've got two MST, we don't need this card, um, although this does need to be destroyed by by battle for the card draw, the protection's nice, honestly. So, okay. Um, another honest would be good, honestly. And finally, I think that's good. So let's go. Let's go. Uh, an extra card in our extra deck, so we'll get rid of one. Um, let's play this card. Should I play one copy of Black Whirlwind? Sure, why not? Um, okay. And now we take out Warrior Returning Alive. Glad I spotted that one, because that's definitely a graveyard effect. And any other graveyard effects we see. Um, maybe I take this out. Yeah. 
Uh, oh yeah, also I could have added more kaijus. What am I doing? And yeah, the more level sevens we have, the better. Um, and, uh, should I add one slumber? Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, and now we randomly, quote unquote randomly, not really randomly, but we take out four cards that are hard to choose from. Okay. Oh, wait. Um, yeah, I don't even have Power Bound in my deck anymore, so. Just seeing if I pulled any new Cyber Dragon related cards that I haven't considered. Hmm. Well, we do banish a lot, so would three Dre really be a good call? I think so, yeah. Hmm. Probably gonna cut this. I don't really want to, because I like the connection between, you know, junk counters and the one of junk synchron. <laughs> but yeah, well, I could take it on MST. There's that. Um, or I could move this down to two. But we are gonna banish a lot, no matter what. So, hmm. Now nah, I kind of want to see it. Um, I could move Solemn down to one. Could take out Fateful Hour. Hmm. I, I love Faithful Hour though. Stealing a DPE is hilarious. Um, what does this card do? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe we take this out. I don't know. And one more card. Um. You know we're running a graveyard reliant deck. I realize this is a free set. But the chances of this card going to the graveyard, because we're banishing stuff with the macro. Yeah, the chance of this going to the graveyard is not high. Hmm. Or, because most of the time I'll overlay it into a 7. Or, I guess if I synchro it, it doesn't get its effect either. Yeah, it does not. So, I'll get. No, we'll get rid of one Ash. We really need two Ash Ketchums. Probably not. Also, I can add a Baron here, so... I don't think we got any... Well, okay, I got another End. Okay, and I got another Twin, too. I don't know if I even need more than one. I don't think I need all three Twin. I think that's a little over... overdone. Um, I guess Seeger would be the craft for the next... for improving this deck, and, it, and of course Nova, duh. Um... Okay, I only have two Cyber Network. Oops. So okay. Yeah, we can we can get the stuff for the third cyber network. But uh, yeah, that's what I'll look for whenever I finish this deck. So okay. Yeah. Here we go. And bye bye. And bye bye. And. Do, 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 do.
Dustkeeper works really good with banishing, so that's good. So. I'll take it out. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right. Uh, do I really need two ends? Probably not. Yeah. Okie dokie, looks good. Let's do a few test duels with this. And we'll finish out our solo daily. And our exceeds daily. And probably go again. No. Sorry I wasn't talking for a while. Legitimately, I kind of half drifted off and forgot I was even streaming. But I was mostly thinking, so. Ooh, second. We love to go second. Alright. Let's see here. This is basically Banish Cyber Dragon version. Hmm, not bad, not bad. Hmm. Okay, I like what I see. 
All we need is one of the many Cyber Dragon names, and we're good. Hero OTK? Hmm. How about we just try to win right here on the spot? I activate Ash Ketchum and Misty Spring. If you have called by the grave, well then... Well, oh, half of your life points got done. This is an OTK deck, so half my job's done. Response. Uh, they already had the Stratos, so... That was a jibate. Alright, hero combo time. Uh, if they end on Dark Law, that honestly helps us, so... Shadows pass? I'm sorry, what? Perfect. Alright. I activate a continuous spell. Now, every time a card's banished, I'll gain 500. Next, I summon the court of this deck. Cyber Dragon Core, you might say. Now then, with its summon, I can bring out... A surrender from my opponent. You could call that the greatest card of all time. Because if I draw a surrender, well then, that means I win. <laughs> that was pretty ideal. And we drew into a uh, core too. It's funny, it wasn't even in our first hand. That was pretty lucky, to be quite frank. But, uh, anyway. Once they saw the core, they knew. They knew. They knew. Yep, pretty easy to OTK heroes when they pay half their life. And we've got no back row back there, so... Yeah. Anyway. Let's see. I Funky Flake Zs. Wait. I Funky Flake Keys. I see. Ooh, they're doing our work for us. Sweet. Thanks for banishing the world. I love you. Okie dokie. I'm just going to use Gores, and we're going to end our turn immediately. Ready? All right. Now for my turn. Check this out. I get this magic card. It's called the End Phase. And how many do you have in your deck? Well then, unless you're running Runix, I've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Setting a monster. I've never seen that before. Next, let's encourage this man, this person to attack. I'll give you what's called a kaiju monster. Now we're gonna save it. We're gonna save the kaiju. I'll activate cyber emergency. I'll probably ash this. Ooh, no ash. Okay. Take the core. Now, you can't play Imperm in this column, so... Go, Core! Okay... Negate? And negate. We, we just got negated. We got, we got negated. And, you know, normally I would be afraid to attack, but, um, you see... We've only used... They have no cards banished, so it's not like this is a Grin Maju. So let's make him flip it up. Okie dokie, I attack. Wee. Ah, that's what deck I thought it was. <laughs> Okie dokie, your turn. Alrighty, time for a five million minute turn combo. Ready? By the way, flus like to be banished, so I knew they had to be on something like this, so. Anyways. Now they're going to summon their boss monster. Wee! Apex, ABN. It's over. <laughs> no, not really. Thankfully, we've got a, a kaiju for the M pin, so. Uh, flu can OTK, though, I guess, so there's that. Uh-huh. Big bad chicken. Wee! Ooh, is this a royal chicken? Lovely. I can't wait to kaiju it. 
All right, but they'll take map and combo, blah, blah, blah. But we have gores, so yeah. Trust me, when we put down gores, it'll be the funniest thing. Because fun fact, you can special summon gores in defense. So suck on that, flu player. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so basically we want to wait till this card attacks. Because we don't want the hand rip to. Okay, gotcha. Alright. And then to start our turn, we Dark Ruler no more. Yeah. We've got this. Gorse is going to be on the defense for us. I should add checks and dragon to this deck too. Alright. Alright. And I'll just keep an eye on whether or not they're in the battle phase or not. Alright. In the meantime, I'm going to start getting ready for bed. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go guys. It's time to summon our Royal Gorse in defense mode. Here we go. Gorse. Okay. Defense mode, please. Okie dokie. Token time. Wee. There we go. Royal successfully summoned. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Face downs. Oh my! From a wing beast stick? Could that be an Icarus attack? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, and we have a kaiju, so this is perfect. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Response? No response? Well then, I'm going to do this. So this activates when I summon. This activates when I summon. <laughs> mm. I think what we do here is we switch these to attack mode and attack. Let's keep the token in defense. Mm -hmm. Let's go for... One of these effects triggers when I summon, right? I think here's what we do. We do this just in case. There we go. All right. And now we summon this over here, which might trigger their trap. So let's summon, do additional summonings. But if, if we do, it's okay. <clears throat> Yeah, it definitely triggers something. Interesting choice. Book the tuner, of course. That works. Okay. But what will you do, Onoki, about this second tuner? Very well. I special summon this. Right here. 
Defense mode. Mm hmm. Hell yeah. Didn't see that coming, did you? Gonna book this one too? <laughs> What's good? I special summon this. By banishing this. Response? Boy, they're taking a long time to think about it. It just tells me they have, like, something. An effect negate? Something. They got something. They're thinking. Book of Moon on... Uh-huh. Good, good. So, the back row is clear. Hmm. Alright, tech mode. Okie dokie. And we use Dre. What does map do? Mm -hmm. Your main phase. Okay, I can stop reading. If your opponent. Hmm. Okie dokie. And now we go into BLS because, yeah, that was the plan all along. <laughs> okay. All right. Just a giant, unaffected BLS. <laughs> Joke's on them. Here we go. Yep, my daddy soldier. That was your soldier. Soldier calls. Okie dokie, and we don't want to do them any favors. So let's not attack their uh, floor, floor wanderies stuff. Let's just destroy this card. My own card. All right. All right, mission accomplished. Now they do have cards that can bounce this and stuff, and uh, also spin it like Ryza. So definitely not the best play I could have made, but it's the one I was left with. So yep. Flu can out this pretty easily. So yeah. And this should get them into Ryza, so probably going to be a loss, but uh, we're only here for the special summon dailies anyway, so. Hmm, interesting matchup though, because like I said, Dim Fizz works for us, not the other way around. Uh, so yeah, because we're using a kind of a banished Cyber Dragon to get these dailies, so yeah, you know, it's funny. They had them finish the whole time, and when I played Special Summon Cyber Dragon, uh, <laughs> yeah, Dre actually had its effect, its protection work, which is pretty freaking hilarious, but if I, I must say so myself. Anyway, there's the Ryza, time to bounce to the hand and bounce to the deck. Does that affect target? We're about to find out. Because <laughs> even I don't know. Hmm. Well, anyway, he's going to be able to do traditional, or she's going to be able to do traditional flu combos regardless. So, yep, if you're sitting at home watching, go get you a little snack snack, pop some popcorn. It's going to be about another 20 minutes before it's my turn. And even then, it's not really my turn. Okie dokie, flu on the reese and blah blah blah. I'm sick of the flu, achoo. Bless you. Good day. In pan back. Yay! Wait, doesn't it have an attack gaining effect? I'm pretty sure it's time to cut the holiday ham because we're boned. We um attack gain? Once we're bound. Oh. Hey what? Become hold? Ooh. Hey, that lets Ryza get over me, right? Uh Sorry guys, I can't do math or read. I'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player. Uh, no, 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 don't worry, this card does nothing. Uh, all those words you see on screen, don't worry about it. Just click buttons, click, 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 click. Yep, that's what I'm doing, I'm clicking buttons, see? <laughs> Anyways, um, so, in Yu-Gi-Oh news, I heard that uh, um, 
a archetype is getting some new support. Yeah, they're gonna actually release some support for the La Jin, Genie of the Lamp archetype. Oh man, and Konami's really scraping the bottom of the barrel for that one. I, I'm just saying, I do like that they're bringing like a new form of ancient land. That's cool. That's hella cool. Cause you know, for years, like all that the support has exists is, okay, number one, any card that flips ancient land face down, you know, because its effect is like when it's attacked and your opponent has a slew of monsters. Ooh, you know what? I should make an ancient lamp turbo deck. <gasps> yeah, because a lot of times people will just attack your stuff anyway and not pop it. Dude, how funny would it be if a blue eyes chaos max player ran into an ancient lamp and I made them attack a face down card with zero defense? Oh my gami kai. Ooh, I have to write this down right now. Oh my gami kai. Okay, hang on. Wait, he attacked in the wrong order. We win. We win. If he, if you would have attacked with this first, see now I'm hauled. What are you doing, Funky Flakes? Well, plus one flood slub, slub, plus one flood sub. They misclicked. They misclicked. You missed out on 2,800 damage, man. What's your problem? It's like, yeah, I knew you had the honest effect, but jeez, man. Ooh, right. Well, we already knew what we were gonna draw, so let's just do this right here. So I special summon this. And now, uh -huh. we special summon Gale too. In defense mode, of course. Gale, uh, wait a second. Oh yeah, okay, we're just picking the zone. Let's pick this zone. Defense, because you can't imperm. Okie dokie, Gale effects. Response. <laughs> there it is. And I was bluffing. I don't even have anything in the extra. That's the scoop. That's the scoop. Whoops. I, uh, thanks for the duel. And I didn't actually have any Black Wing Synchros I could go into. Want to know why? Both those cards are tuners. <laughs> 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 oh my gummy kai well good game <laughs> whoops <laughs> oh i love it i love players who can't read Hey, uh, hey, Tim, uh, uh, how far are we into stream? Yet, uh, two hours, 15 minutes, uh, no, 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 two hours, 10-ish, maybe 209 into stream. I got a nice duel for you for the, uh, for, the for the VOD channel. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's going to have to be its own little, wow. <laughs> nice dueling there. Wow, that, that's embarrassing, honestly. All right. This hand would have been fan tucking fastic going first. Will this Dark Magician player miss combo? They might. <laughs> Let's find out. I can't believe that we beat that flute player. That was hilarious. And I was totally bluffing too. <laughs> that duel right there ought to teach you though. <clears throat> you know, never give up. Never hit the surrender button because, uh, yeah. Even if you bluff and make them think you have a good extra deck play, you know. Maybe they just can't read. I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> and we got to win our f first duel with Gores. I love it. <laughs> okay. No circle, huh? Hmm. 
They probably have the E soul in the grave though, right? Dark. Dark. Hmm, I am playing some darks though, so that's a little concerning. However. Nice. Nope. 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 <laughs> what we want to do here is set this card right here. Then we'll set this card right here. Okay, then we'll set this card right here. And then we'll in the turn. They play dark magic attack, so... There's the easel. Hmm. Let's see. So Dark Magician's coming out. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Combo. That doesn't make Dark Float, does it? No, it does not. Whoops. Well, let's chain Scapegoat right away in the draw phase. No, no, no. We'll... Hmm. We'll chain it if they search with Eternal Soul. Yeah. Hmm. There's Rod. Okay, now we'll play Scapegoat. So let's activate Scapegoat. Mm-hmm. 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 This is to encourage them not to search for Dark Magic Attack with uh, Eternal Soul. That's the only reason we're doing this, so... Okay, okay. okay. there we go. It's time to debate. I guess I should have said Heavy Mech Platform if I was going to do this, but that's okay. I stand by my decision. Their circle. Hmm... Interesting, what will they banish my face down monster on? Hmm. Which are they more afraid of? I guess it doesn't matter, they can really banish twice or more this turn, so. Hmm. Now, is Dark Magician in the graveyard? It is, there is one. So. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so for this, hmm, okay, here we go, here's the chain, um, okay, it's fine, so they are gonna go with, they're, they are gonna go with the special summon, hmm, okay, now, what will they search with Illusion of Chaos? Hmm. Okay, so see, we don't want them to inherently tribute, so now we play Macro. Right now. Right. Banish for the target? Good. Yeah, I was gonna really say, if they targeted the face down, it's fine, but... Yeah? Hmm. I tried to encourage them not to do that, but... It's okay. We should probably... Wait, I'm here for the gems. That's right. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, I've already got the gems, though. Right? We, don't, we don't need to see the rest of this. Yeah, we can move on. Congratulations. Hmm. I feel like we had a chance there if I had bluffed something in the middle. Hmm. I really expected them to search Dark Magic Attack, but not every Dark Magician deck runs it. I know I do in mine, but... Just because it's basically a second duster. Um, let's see. Dark magic attack. Some people like it, some people hate it. Um, dark magic attack is not in this deck. Wow. Hmm. So I really played myself because I was thinking they had dark magic attack the whole time. It's not even in the deck. Neither is feather duster, so. Yeah, I really just could have said everything and. Me? Yeah. Okay. Jigen Yugo is a problem though, so. Interesting. I feel like we had a chance in that one. I just didn't think. I thought every Dark Magician player played like me. That's the issue there. So, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. There is variety in deck building, so... You know, get on you, mate. Get on you, mate. Alright. Alright. So I guess after this, I should go do some dailies. Or... Or you know what? This could be the last duel of the stream right here. What time are we at? Yeah, I've only, almost been streaming two and a half hours, so... Oh, oh yeah. Uh. Ooh, uh. I am getting pretty tired. Hmm. Maybe if I turn on some Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, with memories, I won't be as tired. That's a possibility. Hmm. Let's do it. Might be playing the loner. Um, deck? Hmm. They didn't use the effect either. Huh. Okay, we'll summon this. Right here. Mm -hmm. Then I will set. In here. Here. Put the cards we want, you know, destroyed toward the edges. Yeah, that's good. First, we'll flip up the macro. That's you know, don't want them to go into any link ones or anything. Hmm. Actually, let's not flip up macro. See if they do anything immediately about back row. Hmm. Because the Link 1, I do not mind. Hmm. But we're not going to let him build the thing for access code. This may be a deviation from the structure deck. I don't know. I don't think the structure has access code. Hey, maybe it does. I don't know. Start the, the loner deck? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Battle phase? Well, I guess I want Fusi either in the graveyard, so go ahead. Hmm. They may, they, this may be a new player, though, man. I don't know what to think. So, let's see. Yep, new player. Trying to figure out the controls, I guess. Okie dokie, we'll be nice. Right. Ooh. Thought what I said about that whole being nice thing? Yeah, so. That is some top deck. Um, okay. Ooh, that's really good too. Okay. Alright, we'll go with Gale. Use Gale effects. Mm -hmm. Target this. And wow, well, yeah, it's time for Full Armor Master to make an appearance on stream. So here we go. Yo, how is it? Hello, Indy. What's going on? So we're going to go into this Synchro Shokan. Yep, uh, so far, honestly, pretty good. We've, we made it to the. Uh, 300 gems mark, which 
Honestly, when I started, uh, I'm doing good, Indy. How are you tonight? Do, 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 do. Play Macro Cosmos. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm thinking this is a pretty new player here. They've been kind of doing good. Had a nap. Nice. <laughs> yep. Yeah, speaking of, of naps, if you were, go back in the VOD a little bit, right before you showed up, just let out like a pretty big yawn. I was I was thinking to myself, like, man, maybe I'll, you know, <laughs> you know I was like, maybe I'll uh, do, do a little something away wake myself up or I don't know but uh, I'm thinking this is a new player we got right here because they're doing that whole thing where they just summon a card and then move into each phase and yeah it's one of those sleepy Tuesdays hey I feel that that's what's up <laughs> um my normal it's weird my body is acclimated to sleepy Thursdays because that's normally the day I have off so uh, it used to be for a while. Um, I actually worked in pizza, so if you've never worked for like Domino's, Pizza Hut, etc., uh, your sleepy day is actually Wednesday. That is the slowest pizza day of the week. I don't know why. But, uh, well, of course, weekends are busy with sports stuff. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, weekends being busy, that makes sense for pizza. Um, you know, there's always something more sports related on the weekends. But, uh, yeah. Ah, I guess it is a church night. And a lot of people go to church. Down here in the south. But I would think Tuesday. Yeah, I know, right? Due to taco. Yeah. But no, no. Actually, Tuesday? Believe it or not. Um, I think the fact... Because, you know, for a while... Now, I'm a boomer. I grew up in the uh, 90s and stuff. And I don't know if you remember 4th Mill. But, uh, or you can, like, Google it or YouTube it. You may learn about it in your ancient Egyptian uh, commercial class. But, uh, yeah, there used to be this slogan by Taco Bell. like, you know, with the little chihuahua dog. And it would be like, yeah, it's time for fourth meal. And then you'd hear, dong, you know, the, but the bell. The bell from Taco Bell. It's a shame they never play the bell anymore. That's like, if they brought back the bell and the chihuahua, or not even the chihuahua, just the bell, started ringing the bell, that'd be cool, man. A lot of us boomers would appreciate it. Uh, anyway. Long story short, I think the fact that they were keeping people up toward 11 or 12, because we didn't close till midnight and we made deliveries until one, that honestly helped our Tuesday sales because Tuesday was the second best selling day of the week. You know, the first was of course, you know, Saturday, but you know, yeah, oddly enough, it wasn't Friday. I mean, you would think, but no, no, Tuesday. Tuesday was, uh, maybe it was just because of where exactly our pizza place was located, but, uh, it was right next to the Taco Bell, so <laughs> you know proximity basis does help. You know if the line's too long for Taco Bell, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. And Saturday we Saturdays we were open until like 3 a.m., but only for deliveries, only for you know what I mean. You couldn't like drive in and pay cash because uh the you know uh, our store did get robbed like uh, three or four times you know because we were in a uh, shy town chicago uh so yeah and this is when i was living with my uh, uncle james so yeah it was crazy times back then and it was my first job you know i was only uh, 17 but i lived i lived man i can say i survived south side of chicago so that's that's a miracle bro and i i lived there for like three years so yeah but uh pretty cool man pretty cool but everyone knows where that where that where that Domino's is. It's like right there, you know, right across from Taco Bell, South Side Chi Town. Like dangerous, dangerous stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Somebody was watching over me. What can I say? Anyways, uh, this new player uh, did not break, but did not know how to play. Wait, Chicago? Uh, ah, my dad grew up in. Hey, that's cool. That's funny, Andy. Like, and you're like one of my first like. I would say like, you know, um, returning viewers. So I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't really know how Twitch works or anything, but maybe they recommended you or something since you're so close. I mean, I don't live there now, but uh, I do have Chi Town ties, and that's too big of a coincidence to make me think. Uh, you know, I think the CIA is watching us. Anyway, we win. Sweet. Anyway, hello CIA. This is how to duel, and we just won.
No, but that was a new player. They weren't doing anything. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're just gonna play another duel. Help we use you, you, some Ally of Justice cards, and uh, yeah. If nothing else, we're gonna just sit here, chit, chill, and talk about Yu-Gi-Oh. And oh, by the way, I went to the Discord the other day, and I checked out uh, the uh, the other deck and the thing you were talking about. So <laughs> I was just like, wow, that's crazy, man. Like, wow. So that was fun. That was a fun little, you know, 30 minutes there. Uh, I think I forgot to say, yeah, because you asked me to leave some recommendations, huh? As far as on that deck. That's what I forgot to do, man. I just, today was just so, yeah, I got so busy with like, um, well, everything because uh, yeah, we had people unexpectedly show up out of nowhere, and uh, yeah, sorry, man. Like, um, but I will. You know what? I'm gonna do it first thing tonight before I go to bed. I'm gonna take a look another look at that, and then make some deck recommendations. Um, wow, we can actually revive Fusilier in the assault mode. That's good. Okay, Fernando. All right, let's see if they're playing a light deck. Hmm. Feel free to post and such. Yeah. Now, uh, I think you already told me, but um, I know you have a Discord. Um, do you stream indie or, you know, it's just, you know, kind of uh, your friend's Discord? Galaxy. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Used to. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, did you, what did you, did you stream games? Rarely now. Oh, okay. That's okay. I understand, you know, real life stuff happens, you know, um, Master Duel in Minecraft, oh, cool, yeah, that's, yeah, you know, I probably should, uh, I have Minecraft, and I probably should, a lot of people love Minecraft, um, or like Terraria, a lot of people love that too, and I have that too, um, hmm, yeah, but yeah, Minecraft has a huge fan base. So, um, can we go into a rank seven? Oh wait, I don't have any. Do I? I don't have any. Oh my gummy cut. Oh wait, wait. I see big eye. Hmm. Hmm. Here's the only problem. We're locked and loaded for Desperado, and I'd rather get out Desperado. <laughs> I'd rather go, I mean, because Big Eye is, like, good. It, like, if they had a boss monster out here, i definitely, you know, yoink. But, uh, yeah, man. I'm actually going to do this and just, wait, let's read. If destroyed by battle, what happens? N nothing terrific. Okay. But the graveyard is seated. Yes, I see. I see, okay. The graveyard is seeded. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Okay, I was making sure this couldn't special summon itself when I destroy it in battle. All right. Um, hmm, let's attack. Hmm. Okay, and now that that's done... Oh, float? Something in hand? What's going on here? No, okay. Let's end the turn. On end phase. I'm actually gonna go on end phase. The reason I'm not gonna set it like I usually do, uh, goat stops you from special summoning Desperado, which I kind of want to do in this case. So yeah. Goat time! Okie dokie. All right. Plus, this will bait them to use, you know, Raijiki or whatever they want. Ah, <laughs> mm, my Millennium Eye saw that move coming a million miles away. And now that all of my monsters have been destroyed, I will bring out this cute and cuddly monster. I like to call it Desperado Barrel Dragon in attack mode. Mmm. 
You could be intubated. That's the entire thing I wanted to do. Now what will you do? Random player I do not know the name of. Hmm. Would you play the second meteor? The lightning storm? Ooh, the cute and cuddly galaxy wizard. This can turn into a level 8. Oh my. <laughs> that was hilarious though. Add the card to your hand. Okay. What you got? <clears throat> I'm going to guess Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. That uh, seems to be... Or another soldier. That works too. Um... Hmm. Well, paying life points. This must be a good effect. Uh, I see. Whoa. Okie dokie. The same level, huh? Wow. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm, the good news is they're not going after my back row, so... And a lot of the galaxy eyes exceed... Simply OTK. They don't really have too much protection. Although they could go into any level eight here. That's uh, okay. Yeah, is there any protection on this card? Uh, readings hard. Hmm. Yeah, he could yoink it himself. I guess that's an option, but I'm not really afraid if he does that. Not really at all. Yeah, it's an interesting option. Okay, no yoink. There is an exceeds daily goal today, so I have been seeing a lot more galaxy eyes than usual. Hmm. Equip cards? Wait, wait, what? Once returning, you can target up to two equip cards. Equip to this card, attach them as material. Wow. Well, Galaxy Eyes must apparently have some equips that I'm not familiar with. The only one I know is Galaxy Expedition, which is like a pre-map. Um, premature burial, but, uh, okay. No, it's fine, it's fine. Weird. <laughs> if I ever see someone use the second effect of this card, I'm gonna shabala and fukala. I'm going to buy a lottery ticket because that would be unique. That would actually be interesting um, and refreshing, really. Animation. Now, the real question is, do they have the called by in the grave and been sitting on it the whole time? Or the DD Crow, you know, that would be, is DD Crow light? No, DD Crow's dark. Called by is a spell. So, yeah. All right, that's cool and all. Can this pop face down? Ooh, ooh, it can. Ooh. Hmm. Okie dokie. Good job. I guess I should have set limit reverse to bluff, but uh, I didn't see this coming to be quite frank. Oh uh, okay. god. Sorry, Desperado. Hmm. Yeah, not too many misplays for me in this one either, because like going for big eye doesn't really change how this turn went, so. Hmm. I think we played ult optimally though. Maybe I should have set limit reverse, but Yeah, they could have just guessed the right target, you know. <laughs> 50 50 50. That's you know. Gas. Wow. Right, they did search for that this turn though. All right, time for more Exceed Summon Daily, so I'm just gonna take a quick straight straight. Well, regardless, I think I picked a good night to do this for Ally of Justice. Because, yeah, with the Exceeds Daily, you're gonna see more Utopia and Galaxy decks, so. Uh, both of which are light, so yeah. Alright, and we saw Galaxy Eyes OTK, or should I say FTK? I don't know. 
they beat, they won in one turn, and I've never, never seen a Galaxy Ice player do that. I'm shocked. I'm shocked, I tell you. Imagine a deck with eyes, you know, defeating someone in one turn. I find that impossible. Next duel. <laughs> What is this? You see? Oh, is that Quantum Cat? What is this? Hey, that looks pretty cool. Is that literally Quantum Cat? What is that? I kind of want that. Ah, uh, you probably have to pay a lot of money for that. If anyone in chat in the bot knows what that, you know, stream thing was, or that uh, protector was, let me know. I mean, we've got Trishula, which is cool, but, you know. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's set. <clears throat> and... Pass. Wait. Okay. Yeah, we're good. What you got? Dark Magician, huh? Or Brick Eyes. Or we're about to find out. I'm guessing Dark Magician. Oh. Video Blue Ice. Not bad. Alright, guys, time for full combo. So they're gonna draw, and they're gonna ultimately end with Alternative Dragon, B E W D, and Jet, and like a D Buys or something random. But they're going to pop the face down, so GG number eight. Hey, 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 that's not a blue eyes card. You can't use that. Hey. <laughs> Interesting deck. She saw so safe. Okay. All right. Uh, Link Summon? Question mark? No. Okay. Nice try, Blue Eyes. Now, do they have effect negation? I don't know, but I have to attempt to activate this anyway. So. Uh, that is a negative, so we survived your OTK. Nice try. More sheep tokens. Alright, and we have Garrett Hall. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're telling me. <laughs> like, wow, that's uh, not bad, I guess. Um, yeah, I was playing this in my counter fairies, uh, just to go into a... Uh, Protected BLS, but eh, not bad. And Iris is hmm, pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. Uh huh. Yep. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, guys. But now we have to do it. This is for making fun of Rank Ten Yu-Gi-Oh. I summon the all-powerful. Ally of Justice, Garrett Hall. And now he's going to use his effect. That's right, whenever he attacks a monster, well then, he gains a staggering 200 attack. So take that, you Dogmatica card or Ecclesia or whatever. You've been destroyed by the almighty Ally of Justice, Garrett Hall. And he let me do 200 extra points of damage to you. So, ha! That probably wasn't the optimal play, but. This man deserves it. You know what he's been through? <laughs> he's been made fun of, man. He's been put down. And that's not justice. Justice is getting highlighted in the stream. Anyway. <laughs> I could go into Mascarena. And I would. If I... <laughs> uh, yeah, like, for, for example. Let's just say they had a field spell that let them uh, do an additional normal summon. I could have actually summoned Unlimiter. And then used the effect to double this and then destroy blue eyes or something. You know what I mean? 
See, that's a good support. You know, a field spell that searches plus an additional normal summon. It's not too busted. It's not broken. It's not going to lead to Ally of Justice Tier 1, but it does something. I don't know. Let's call it Ally of Justice. Um, uh, lightsaber Field. I don't know. Oh, also the final effect of the field spell. All monsters on your opponent's side of the field are treated as light and in the graveyards. So there you go. That's not too busted, right? <laughs> yeah. Sounds like an ally of justice field spell to me. As long and all of those effects only apply as long as you control an ally of justice monster. There you go. We archetype blocked it. Now it can't be busted. <laughs> How's that sound, Andy? Pretty good custom card, I think. Ally of Justice, true Draco Buster, hell yeah. <laughs> that honestly sounds like a cool name for a field spell. Yeah. <laughs> that way also the it could be searched with a true Draco support cards. <laughs> Since terraforming's banned, you know, and metaverse is like, yeah. Yeah, I guess if they do ever make a field spell that fixes Ally of Justice, a uh, field spell searcher, or really any searcher in the archetype, would be nice. I mean, they made Ally of uh, Justice searcher, which fails to search anything. Yeah, it's kind of weird. So, yeah, because this card doesn't actually search, but it has searcher. Pretty weird. Oh, <gasps> a Jetarian. Sweet. Anyways, my turn. Yeah. Meet George Jetson. Da -da 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 -da. Do 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 do. His boy Elroy. Anyway, we're kind of boned here, so. I don't know. Let's hope they miss combo, and I'll set two cards. You know, I started to think, why is Magnet Reverse on this deck? But it's in here to remind me to add Ally of Justice Synchros, because let me let me show you what this card actually says. Revive any Ally of Justice Synchro monster. That's basically what it says. If you if you just think about it long enough, it says target one of your Ally of Justice Synchro monsters. Revive it. Yeah. Uh, but like I was mentioning, my Discord has tons of Minecraft players. Oh, okay, cool. Um, I'm sure you guys like, you know, well, maybe you don't, but uh, do some of you ever all like, I don't know, pick up, like, let's say a Saturday night and, and all just hang and game together? That's cool if you do, you know. I respect it. <clears throat> gonna bounce more bounce to the ounce uh, that's an interesting choice hmm okay now we get to add something um ooh. wait 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 sand again doesn't let me use the effects does it uh nope okay let's add core destroyer there we go. I'm still wondering on the interaction in this. We've seen a lot of Blue Eyes players. And you know how Jet has the effect to bounce? Go Blue Eyes! White Lightning. But yeah, you know how Jet has the effect to bounce, but Core Destroyer has the effect to destroy at the start of the damage step? Now, how would that work? Would I get bounced and Jet destroyed? Or would I simply destroy Jet with Core and Jet fails to activate? Or would it cause a chain? I don't know. I legit, I think it depends on the, who's doing the attacking. Because I think the turn player gets quote unquote priority, which does still exist. But I honestly, I just want to see Master Duel uh, fix the problem for me. <laughs> You know what I mean, Andy? That way, 
I don't have to think about... And damage step rulings are pretty... obscure? And weird. Anyway... Full combo. Uh, here we go. Let's just hope they're running a light deck, and we win. Do this. And turn into... All right. All right. But yeah, if you guys like Minecraft uh, and you happen to be watching my YouTube channel, uh, first of all, you picked a weird uh, channel to watch since I have never YouTubed or streamed Minecraft. Uh, and I'm saying this for the watchers of the VOD in the future on YouTube. Uh, so thank you for the support, first of all. And second of all, um, yeah, feel free to join um, Indy's Discord server because, yeah, as he said, they play lots of Minecraft there. And, uh, yeah, if you're looking for your peeps, that's where it's at. So, yeah, um, you guys have seen him chat. You know, you guys know who Indy is. Um, but I'll link his Twitch probably in the description. So... Yeah, give it a follow. Let me know what you think. And ally of justice, mammoth graveyard, too strong? Question mark. Why did they scoop there? <laughs> what? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> well, uh, that's 500 medals for us. Winning. Sweet. Two legacy pack tickets. We'll take it. We'll take those. Uh, I guess let's check their deck. That was odd. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't see a reason why they scooped. And I'm familiar with Melodious combos, so... Yeah, everything seemed good to me. I mean, I don't know. That's, they just... Uh, I don't know. Maybe they saw, like, they saw the all-powerful Ally of Justice monster, Mammoth Graveyard, the retrain, and they just couldn't handle his awesome horns and the power. This dude's like uh, the final evolution of that Digimon, Gatomon, <laughs> and they just couldn't handle it. Uh, what was his name? I forget the name of the Digimon, but he used, like, Vulcan's Hammer. Yeah. Yeah, they couldn't handle that. He also looks like a, uh, you know how Metal Greymon's like a, Agumon's like a dino? These dudes look like Metal Mammoth Graveyard Mon. Or he could just be like Metal Tuskmon. Ooh. Yeah, I could see that for a Digimon. I'm going to start calling you Metal Tuskmon. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> uh... I don't know, guys. I'm not familiar with Digimon either. Is Tuskmon a Digimon? You know, that looks like Mammoth Graveyard. Or it's like an elephant Digimon? I could see that happening. I could see that happening. You know, I watched Tamers, but, uh. Eh, after that, I just kinda. And I collected the cards. I, uh. Yeah. Who's my favorite Digimon character of the original Digi Destin? Glad you asked. Um, so a lot of people say Ty, which, I mean, okay, that's a boring answer. Um, a lot of people also say Matt, that's another boring answer. Okay. Let's say it's not one of the two cool Digimon. Okay, what's, who's my favorite? So let's get real. I mean, Ty is cool, and Governormon is cool. So there's that. Okay, I'll give you my answer. You guys know I'm Flood, Floodmon14. And yeah, Metal Garurumon is badass with all that ice. So that's the true answer. But, you know, let's exclude those two because everybody says those two. So of the remaining six, who's your favorite? Well, and now see, here's to where we get to the interesting discussion. Because, like, all of the Digidestin had big moments in the show, if you really think about it. Um, the most character probably most close to my per personality is Joe. You know, the well, is he? It's kind of a fusion. You know how, like, Gotenks, 
if you use, you know, goat, go, goatin and trunks to make goatinks, that's effectively my personality. If you want to know who I really am, watch Digimon. You know, you know, one day when you want to binge something. And then fuse the personality of Izzy with the personality of Joe, the nerdy guy. That's me. You know, I'm kind of good with computers. <laughs> Not nearly as good as Izzy. But good enough. And we're just going to bluff Gores. And yeah, I'm also, you know, nerdy like Joe, but courageous enough to just go for it in battle. You know what I mean? So I'm courageous when it calls for it. Joe's also kind of laid back and he kind of studies the, you know what I mean? Yeah, he's more alert, kind of kind of scanning the potential, kind of just waiting and seeing what happens and then reacting to it, you know. At the same time, it, Izzy's like stu studious and he's just kind of, he's like very, of course, to be good, that good with computers, you have to be like focused. So he's focused. And he's also, as far as the fighter in the Digimon, uh, he's a cheater, because to evolve Tintamon for the first time, he put up all those wires on it, and he effectively cheated the digi the digi his first Digivolving. So, kind of weird for Tintamon to evolve that way. It's a real thing. I sort of liked it, and I sort of didn't. The main reason I didn't like it, because cause it doesn't feel earned. You know, because Izzy hooked up all those cables and was studying him, and... Basically using Tintamon as like an ex a guinea pig, which I find ethically slightly wrong, you know what I mean? But that's really more of a personal kind of, you know, issue than it is, you know. And, you know, when it comes to Digimon, there's not really right and wrong. There's really just stuff just happens, you know, random, wacky anime stuff you know so and you're not supposed to think about it too seriously but as an adult i can't help it um now let's talk about the girls let's talk about sora and let's talk about karen you know ty's sister so and i don't want to talk about the last girl mimi because i'm going to have nothing but nice things to say about mimi um sora We'll come back to Sora. So let's start with, uh, you know, Ty's little sister. Um, the problem for me is, like, I'm not really that attached to her. A lot of people love the twist of, oh, my God, the eighth DG Destin. And, da, 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 da. and I'm like, Ugh. but honestly, for me to grow attached to her, she would have had to come along, you know, right away. Just like with the initial seven. So... Um... It's tough, it really is, because don't get me wrong, she's a great character, and you know, she has that whole thing with Gatamon, and she basically, her kindness and love changed, you know, Gatamon from the evil side to the good side, and that's kind of a hard just story arc and character arc to beat. You can't really, my god, that is pretty well written and pretty hard to, you know, surpass, but, um... Ultimately, I think it's it's really a matter of preference. You know, if Angel Ma Waman is your favorite Digimon, which <laughs> you know, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it PG and just say uh, Angel Waman has nice, um, how shall we say, personalities. Um, no, I'm just kidding. But not to mention, Gatamon's her own character. I, I could almost think, could, could consider Gatamon like the ninth Digi Destin. That cat has that much character. Um, but with all that being, and Gatamon and Karin are kind of like a pair. And I don't know, man. It's 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 gonna be tough to decide out of the remaining six. Um, but yeah, just because Joe is closest to my personality and Izzy too. Doesn't mean I have to pick them. Um. Anyway, let's go to the last remaining one. So we've talked about um, the only person I haven't mentioned is the last DG Destin that I haven't mentioned, and that is Matt's little brother. So you know he's got Patamon, and he's got um, <clears throat> yeah, Anjumon. 
You play Digimon TCG? Yeah, I... well, I shouldn't lie. I collected the cards as a kid. <laughs> and those cards, I'm sure, are highly power crept by this point of the game. So... I've got, like, some really old Digimon cards that are not necessarily good. But, um... <clears throat> yeah, Indy, um... I've got some old Digimon cards. Maybe they're worth money, but uh, I doubt they're any good. It's kind of like the Pokemon TCG thing, like, yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, Charizard, base set Charizard's cool, but it's power crept, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, I don't know, what about you, Andy? Do you play Digimon, or have you watched it or anything? Um, let's go with this. Yeah. But um Right here. You do La Queen. Yes, Alright. Uh Digimon TCG reset their Oh. 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 So if I have like an old school Gururumon Turbo deck. I can't even use it. And I mean, by old school, I mean like from 2000 and... Two-ish. To 2000 and... Four-ish. <laughs> yeah, that's not legal. Oh, 2020 they reset? Oh man, guys, the vid ruined everything. Rip. Something else ruined in 2020. Darn you, Corona in the fridge. I will drink you tonight. Anyway, wait, but like, I'm gonna have to Google that to see why they reset the, uh... Yeah, that's, uh... Huh. Because so I definitely want to know the full story and do my research. So that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll set this in my turn, but I did not know that, Indy. Thank you for your helpful information. Um, yeah, that's that sucks. That sucks. The new version's really good, though. Hmm. Well, I mean, I don't read in this card game, and I'm sure I don't have to read in Digimon either, so... Yeah, I could see me playing it someday. Like it's way better and playable. Oh, okay. Cool. Do you have to read? If no, then I'll play it. We win. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Ally of Justice Cosmic Gateway to Strong. That gateway opened the door to chaos. Into Black Wings. Also, Disney's. Wait, what? Disney's. T wait, what? Disney has a TCG. Um, I have five questions. Number one, why haven't they done this before? Number two, why didn't they do this in the 90s when TCGs were like trending? Number three, why didn't they do this before? Yeah, it's like magic. Okay, number, number four, why didn't they do this right after magic did this? And number five, why didn't they do this before? Huh. To me, that shows, that stinks of one thing, Indy. It's called desperation <laughs> but anyway uh, I guess good luck Disney I don't know I'll be quite frank man um, I know a lot of people love Disney and it's like magic huh hmm. I, hmm. I'm gonna it, it's a coin toss on this man either it's gonna be the biggest TCG game ever or no one's gonna buy it it's going to be one or the other. You know how hard it is to get people to buy physical? Physical, physical trading cards. Now, now, if this is online you're talking about, where people can buy virtual trading, children trading cards and, like, battle with them and stuff, it's going to be a collector. Uh-uh. -uh. That makes sense. That. So, yeah, collectors, like, even people like me, I am more of a collector than a duelist. I'll buy them. You better bet I'll buy them, and I'll go after 
for the ultra hyper omega rares but um people actually showing up to play like because i assume they'll have tournaments and stuff right uh... <laughs> i'm just saying man people have to show up for the longevity of your card game to exist uh example a you ygo or magic i guess um yeah and if they don't show up you know i'm just saying man i'm just saying but disney has its own you know loyal fan base so we could just succeed based off that i mean eventually get into tournaments and then ruin the tournaments much like konami did anyway Yep, Konami ruined tournaments, and you want to know how they did it? I'll tell you. <gasps> no way! No way, bro! <gasps> Ally of Justice Mirror Match? This is what I've always dreamed of. Anyway, what does this card do? Uh, oh, it's Machina! Aw, oh, man! Aw, oh, Cat, you had my hopes up, girl! Oh man! Oh, we were this close, and we were this close to an ally of justice mirror match. That'll be the ultimate content if we get it. That will be fantastic content. Oh my gummy Kai. Well, it was good while it lasted. <laughs> the idea lasted for half a second in my brain, and then, yeah, reality is sucked in. Um, that's fine. This is Ruin Force, huh? Um, hmm. Interesting. I'm assuming we want to revive that card. Huh. Be a shame if somebody pointed the finger to it, wouldn't it? Okay, that makes sense. By the way, this is a dark deck we're up against, so. Hmm. <laughs> Bird man, sure. <laughs> All right. Reminds me of what's going on in the progression series. Okay. Is this a loner deck? Maybe it is. Huh? Hmm. Did they target called by? Hang on. They targeted this one, right? The middle? Yes. Uh, that is... <laughs> That's perfectly fine. That's a bluff. That's bluff number one. Okay. <clears throat> Jebated. That's fine. That's fine. Perfectly fine. Jebated. <clears throat> uh... Okay. I had to put the gale down though because yeah like if it was blue eyes and they were going into ultimate fusion we could have trolled them so assuming they didn't pop with uh well no wait even if they did pop i had the revival yeah with um alternative so yeah that's why we did that okay in phase hmm okie dokie in phase, you say. I'll revive Gale. Please don't have a cold by That would suck. Okay. We're good. And now I have a worm. Hmm. Very good. All right. Give me Fusi there. Ooh. A new ally of justice ally. Um. Hmm. Well, obviously, we want to do this. Uh huh. There we go. And now. Do I want to. S wow, maybe I'll set this main phase too. <laughs> Out of all the possibilities it could be, they would never expect me to set this. Hmm. Keep Gale. 
You know what? This is an Ally Justice deck, so you know what? We're gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And I don't have Blackout, right? Here's the question, Indy. Do I believe in the heart of the cards and that they bricked? And I'll draw Blackout next turn, or... Oh, okay, Indy. You have a good night, my, my friend. Uh, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time. But I think I will set this, though. <laughs> Just so we can say we played the Ally of Justice. Alrighty. See you next stream, Andy. Or later on the VODs on YouTube. Yep. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Hmm. So what was I saying before, anyway? Uh, oh, right. I was talking about favorite Digimon or her player uh character and yeah we were, i did not know well, yeah that's gonna be an interesting research you know what maybe i'll stream that maybe i'll stream me like looking at digimon and how it works as well as the the disney stuff because that is pretty interesting um yeah hmm we can look at some of the new disney trading cards coming out see what I actually think you know as far as the power level of the TCG because uh, yeah who knows I don't know maybe the power level will be initially pretty high and pretty combo heavy for the initial rollout yeah it's possible I don't know um hmm yeah it's quite possible Ruin Force? Okay. Let's see. Hmm, I guess I should have called by that. But wait, they had two, right? Yes. So, I mean, I guess I can call by it now. Wait, wait, wait. Quick effect, huh? Hmm. Omoshide. Let's see. Hmm. Let me see. Ooh. Ha! Ha! Got him! I set Ally of Justice Enemy Catcher. Looks like you missed 1800 damage, Cat Plays. Whoops. All right. <laughs> That's funny. We avoided 4,600 damage by setting. That is crazy. Ooh, man, of course. Okay. All right. Hmm. So what's this do? Uh, the battle phase. You can pay half your life points. Wow. Hmm. Once per turn, I'm assuming. Wow. If I just had like a mirror force or something, oh, we totally could have got this guy. Because you can bait it and then called by to, to you know, called by on this one, negate it. Oh, man. Wow. Wow. All right. All right. Good stuff. I'm sure this card has other effects, but no, no, it's just that effect. Battle phase. Wow. Wow. Okay. Hmm, and they dump Plague Spreader. Plague Spreader Zombie, okay, here we go. 
Hmm. Oh, they got the stack. Okay, maybe now he called back. Let's point the finger right here. Mm -hmm. No play for you. Ooh. No play for you. Ooh. Unless you got some kind of negate I don't know about. Like this. Yeah, and I made the right decision, because obviously a Harp War is a quick effect. Somehow, oh, I, see. I see. Thanks to the field spell, yeah, 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 so. <clears throat> At least we got Plague out of there. That's good, honestly. Alright. So they should come a little more. Have the confidence to attack. Because they've got this, so why not? <laughs> and then that should be it, so... Alright. Well, I'm glad Amy stopped by. Pretty cool. But yep, you guys, if you want, feel free to, uh, yeah, go to his channel. Check out the Minecraft community. Pretty good people in general. Alright. Do 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 dee da ba boo ba ba da ba boo ba. Now, is this enough damage? It looks like it is. Yes, it is, it is. Oh, it definitely is now. Well done, cat, please. Alright. Now, how many metals am I at right now? I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, the Digi Justin. So, I was talking about Matt's uh, little brother. Um, and actually, the whole last couple minutes, I've been trying to think of his name. Uh, hmm. If I can't even think of his name, is he really my favorite character? Uh, I think. Because he had the crush to friendship. Uh, man, he was in like both seasons of Digimon, too. Because there's Karin and... I mean, he was effectively her boyfriend. Oh man, what's his name? Oh man, I'm never going to forgive myself if I don't remember his name. I feel like that Spongebob episode, you know? Baby, baby, what's that name? Come on, what's that name? Uh, oh, his name was TK, yeah. Yeah, TK. Yeah. Yeah, TK. I remembered. Anyway, TK. Uh, yeah, a lot of people love Angemon and stuff, so there's that. Um, let's assume we're playing... You know what? No, let's go with this. Let's go with this. I'll snuff out if we're playing a light deck or not. And... Solidarity? Solidarity, baby. Alright. And I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. Some of these loner decks don't got dusters, so... Yeah. And people don't know, don't, don't run Lightning Storm. That card doesn't exist. Um, but yeah, TK. Um, man, Magna Antremont is cool as fuck. Oh, uh, pardon my language. Uh, let's scratch that. Okay, for the YouTube highlight. Yeah, Magna Antremont is baller. Like, wow. Um, plus he was the last ultimate. <laughs> but man, Magna Antremont has the power of like, you know. Uh, you know, Metal Garurumon and War Greymon were struggling against Piedmon. <laughs> and then Magna Angemon, like, he basically has the power of a, uh, a fourth Digivolution. If he ever got a further Digivolution, which he might have in series, I didn't watch all of it, that would be scary. Like, his ultimate was with Gate of Destiny, was strong enough to just, like, yeah end Piedmon with like one attack Gate of Destiny so yeah I don't know man I mean especially if I consider potential Digivolutions like Ty might have it on the uh, we're gonna go on end phase yeah Ty might have it I mean TK might have it or the yeah cause if Magna Angemon ever if uh you know Patamon ever warp Digivolved 
which you know I think it's possible for each Digimon because you know if Agumon and, and um, Gibru, uh, Gatomon or whatever Gibrumon can do it then yeah so that's crazy though um okay I guess we're gonna see if we can make an unaffected monster here mm, they're thinking okay Okay, and I'm not going to want to play Metamorph just yet. Let's do this. Um, yeah. My favorite might be TK, man. I'm just saying. Like, it really might be. Um, this takes me quite a long time to think about. Anyway, we're going to show some animation here. Um. Um, anyway, um. Uh, who else have we not talked about? Uh, and as far as his personality and stuff, yeah, TK ma matches with me pretty well as well. Um, you know, mainly because, you know, he has kind of a, uh, he does have, he shows more of his personality in the next, um, installment of Digimon. Um, yeah, um, which is cool. So, anyway, we're just going to go into... Huh. Yeah, access code's probably the safe bet. I could go for unaffected one of these, though. Hmm, can't be destroyed by battle. Ooh. Protects from what? Protects from... Hmm... Okie dokie. Let's link all of these. Okay. Alright. My very soul. Alright. But yeah, um pretty interesting member of the Digi Just Destinies. Meh. Pretty cool. Um, as far as his personality, like, um, he's actually pretty friendly, which is the opposite of my personality. Then again, he's a kid, and he's just like, you know, um, he's kind of, of course, in the shadow of Matt. Um, you know, Karin is too, just not so much. In fact, her character stands out far more than Ty does at certain moments. So, um, but the overshadowing is way more. And then there's that whole thing of abandonment. You know where Matt leaves the core group for a while, and so you know Ty. I mean TK really has to. Yeah, he has to make a choice. You know, to go with his brother or stay with the Digi Justin. Um, I thought it was a really tough character moment for him to you know stay with. Um, yeah, uh, the rest of the group. But honestly, I would have respected either decision. Um, so, yeah, it's crazy, man. But, uh, you know, um, yeah, TK, he actually grew quite a bit in the time that Matt was away. And he grew even more, you know, during the next season where they had the Digi Eggs. So, yeah. And then Patamon got some new evolutions. Pretty cool. Um, and then we got Pyildramon. So, damn, man, I think it's TK. I think it, I just I just keep thinking of more cool stuff he did. Um, well, anyways, um, yeah. So there's that. Um, now let's talk about Mimi though, because you know I do have to say a reason for not claiming her. Um, you know I'm Flood Floodmon14, and despite you know loving water and everything related to it, um. Yeah, I don't like plants. Although plants need water, so there's that. True light. <laughs> okay. So we're playing against Burke Eyes, not a problem. Um But yeah, so Hmm. Um <laughs> that's funny. It's actually perfect against Burke Eyes. Um, but like, yeah, like uh Mimi, um yeah, first of all, like, I just really don't like plants in general, so, there's that, um, 
Yeah, that's, that's the only reason. I mean, her her character as it is is fine. Um, a lot of people think she's unreliable, but she has some quite intense, highly reliable moments, especially when they come back, quote unquote, back from the digital world, you know, for the first time. Um, yes, yeah, she has some really high character moments there in the shopping mall and stuff, as well as just in general. So, honestly, I love her personality and how she eventually proved everyone wrong. Um, but, um, yeah, um, you know? Um, hmm. yeah, um, what the battle phase, huh? What are you going to do with that? Uh, okay. Taking down a goat, huh? That's fine, I guess. I mean, maybe I should switch this to defense, but that's, you know, meow. you can't do that. But like, yeah. Um, I will say though, I like uh, the middle evolution of Patamon. Uh, you know, not Patamon itself, but the, <laughs> the, the punching cactus, that is pretty hilarious. And, um, yeah, good job on that one. Um, what is it, Togemon? Yeah, Togemon, Togemon. I, I love Togemon. Just, just the insane zaniness of it is pretty funny. Um, but other than that, yeah, I... Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, we got some good things and bad things about Mimi and, you know, plants in general, but yeah. Anyway, that's, you know, I think I want to attack and then use the effects. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, um, yeah. Um, the only person left that I haven't discussed is. Um, wait, why didn't I work on this monster? Wait, what? Oh, okay. <laughs> um, Um, GG, GG, well they have true light so maybe not, but GG, question mark, this going to be our first win with Laurel Sword, I think so, they're still not doing anything. Boral Sword Mascarina IP Too Strong. I'm sorry. This was all due to Ally of Justice. And now we have Justice for Guard Hog. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I mean, with that, I think I can confidently say my favorite Digi Destined is definitely TK. Um. Did I miss anyone? Okay, I really didn't talk about Ty and Matt, but I mean, they're the basically alpha and beta personalities. There you go. I mean, it's. You know. Is Ty the best leader for the group? No, he's definitely not. But oh well, you know, once it's decided on leader, you can't really change it. So Um And I mean that both in the context of oh it's a television show and we don't really want to make radical changes. And number two, you saw what happened when the leader dynamic tried to change with the whole Matt defecting thing. So yeah, that just kind of proved that, you know, bad idea to change that in the middle of the season. Um, now, I'm not saying Ty's perfect as a leader, because he's not, but um, he's the one we got. 
So, yeah. Do I like his character? No, not one bit. It's quite boring. Uh, what about Matt? He is Guru Ruman's, you know, master? Um, no, I don't like his personality either. <laughs> I mean, mainly just because he's a little too... He needs to watch his tone, you know. Um, other than that, it's fine. But, uh... Oh wow, we almost got all 10 wins, and then we'll get 10 more gems. Oh my god, guys, we can get 10 gems. 10 total gems if we win two goals. Winning. Nah, we're probably going to skip this this goal. We're probably going to skip that. I don't know if we can get 200 attack with Garrett Holt, or two more wins. All right, that'll be next stream, though. Two wins with Garrett Holt and Ally of Justice. So, um, yeah, anyways... Appreciate you guys. Gonna do the solo daily off screen, off stream. And yeah, we got our first win with the Almighty card that I've never summoned uh, ever in my life, which is pretty cool. But yeah, I've never actually summoned a Boral Sword Dragon. But I must say, that is a good combo. Uh, and I thought of on the spot while I was in the middle of talking. Yeah, Boral Sword plus IP. Not bad, not bad at all. And Burl Sword's effects kind of stop the, that whole battle phase shenanigans with uh, Imperm. Because, yeah, this line. Uh, yeah, so. Pretty good. Um, yeah. Anyways. Um. Yeah. All right, if you guys happen to be watching the VOD, I talked about Digimon for an hour. <laughs> Let me know who your favorite Digi Destiny is. And yeah, if you're just liking the stream in general, etc. Um, I have to shout out my YouTube because I always do on the VODs. Mainly, mainly when I shout out my YouTube, it's mainly for Twitch because we're doing good. We're doing, let's see, let's see how many followers we're up to. My Twitch. Oh wow, I can't believe that. We're actually up to an astounding, a staggering, a unbelievably crushing number of, and yes, I'm stalling while my internet loads, followers of, what does that say, 18? Wow, really, 18? Or no, maybe it says 16. I think it says, well, either way. Um, so I talked to, uh, Tim, you know, my, uh, editor and stuff, my advisor. And yeah, I was basically like, cause he was wanting me to try master duel and this and that and blah, 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 and streaming. And I basically said to him, Tim, like, Hey man, um, if we get to, you know, 25 is the magic number. I was like, if we get to 25 followers, I'll keep streaming. You know, but I set a deadline. I'm not going to tell you guys what the deadline is because I don't want you to. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, I literally set a deadline, you know, you know, personally for myself, kind of like an arbitrary deadline. And it was just like, yeah, if uh, I determine we should keep doing it, we're going to keep doing it. But like, you know, <clears throat> but like uh, Indy said, like Indy used to stream as well. And like, you know, there are different reasons for quitting streaming. Um, one of which Sometimes there's just not too much interaction or you find it like personally exhausting and draining and you just need to, you know, get in a good mental space, etc. Um, which is fine. All, all that's fine. Or, or, you know, real life stuff happens, bro. Like your car breaks down and it's like, eh, well, I better go down to the factory here and fix my car. And I can't really, you know, sh most people do streaming on the side. You know what I'm saying? So a little, a little sad hustle. Um, and that's kind of my plan too, is like, yeah, I don't have 24 seven to be throwing myself into this. So I have allocated some time successfully. Um, and we're trying, you know, so if you want to help me try and you're listening to the VOD on YouTube, <laughs> you 
yeah, follow my Twitch channel, uh, Flood, F L O O D I N I N Mon A hey, Mon One Four. Yeah, just type that in the Twitch search bar. I should come up. Should be a guy with a set of Kaiba hoodie, just kind of cheesing. Uh, it for the maybe I should change that. Now nah, we'll keep it. Um, anyway, that's the plan, guys. Uh, for the next stream is to yeah uh get the other two wins two wins for the two lightsabers for ally of justice garrett hall am i even saying his name right it's probably called i don't know i can't really i'm a Yu-Gi-Oh player i cannot read but we're gonna get justice for ally of justice garrett hall after rank 10 Yu-Gi-Oh made fun of him the next time on dragon ball y-t-n-t -E the night tour Nightmare Troubadour. Alright, see you guys then. Thanks for watching.